You have so weird picture of me, I have never seen it. Hey, 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 everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Pro Corner, episode 100. Yay! <laughs> I'm your host, Chan Man V, and uh, my esteemed co host, uh, you know, as always, <coughs> is Mr. Gray Torp. What's going on, Andre? Nothing, man. Just say well, say well, doing NASL, laddering some games, getting up in GM. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll go pro again or something. <laughs> GM top fifty. I saw on Reddit last night. Again. Yeah, man. <laughs> Good yeah, stuff. I'm, I'm almost, I'm almost getting up to Nurchi on Costa's level. So we'll see. <laughs> that's right. Well, once you, once you, you know, you know how it goes. It goes NA and then it goes EU and then it goes <laughs> Korea. No, or at I'm least pretty sure so. it's like KR and then EU and then NA. <laughs> no, there I'm you pretty go. Pretty sure it's something. There you go. No, but uh, guys, you know, this is uh, obviously episode 100, so it's a pretty, pretty big milestone, I think, for me. It's uh, I've been kind of putting it off for a while now, quite honestly, just because I was trying to plan something that that was really, really good, and with with Heart of the Swarm, kind of coming out and stuff it, we, we, we kind of pushed it back until now but um but yeah so it's, today's gonna be an awesome day i want to do something a little bit different so we've never done a show match actually on pro corner we've done you know like best of five series and stuff like that where they walk us through you know the player the guests would walk us through but we never actually done a show match so i, I figured it'd be fun to do a show match and with two of the um two of my favorite players uh, in the you know in the world right now and they've been you know part of the show in the past too so i figured it'd be, it'd be great to have uh, Acer Nurcio and Empire Koss on. What's up, guys? Hello. Hello. So, uh, so it's you know, figures ZVT here. would be obviously fun to watch, yep. and we're not starting on New Kirk like like Great Torp or, or uh, 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 Nurcio was was uh, suggesting because I want to want to get things going a little bit. So mm, maybe... That's disappointing, actually. But okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Disappointing <laughs> for you. There's no way it's disappointing for you. <laughs> No, but what we'll do is we'll do a best of seven, and winner's going to get $100, and uh, the other participant, I don't like to say loser, so the other participant Zerg, in Zerg, you mean. <laughs> will get $50, <laughs> and then uh, these guys are going to stick around, and we're going we're gonna to walk through uh, what, I guess me and Great Torp deem as the best game of the series, and uh, have them kind of talk some strategy with us with, uh, you know, just pro corner, and um, just pro corner style. And uh, also, we're going to be doing some giveaways. I'm going to be giving away a Razor Black Widow Ultimate 2013, the green one. Uh, let me give you a picture of it. It's right here. Um, actually, I don't have one. I have I actually have the the previous Black Widow, so I can't say I have this one. So you guys are going to get it before I get it. Um, but we're going to be giving this away to to a random person, and then I'm going to be giving away this Kraken headset, really cool Kraken Pro with the mic and stuff to. Um, to a caller that has, or a, a viewer or a fan that has, I guess the coolest memory of Pro Corner, you know, these last hundred episodes. So uh, it's you know really, I guess, geared more towards the the longtime fan of the show. And so yeah, so if you have some great memories, be sure to be ready to call in, be ready to you know kind of let us know in stream chat and, and that sort of thing. But yeah, so we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing Q and A at the end as always, and then uh, yeah, probably that's probably gonna round out the show. But. Uh, you guys have anything else to say? Any trash talking to, to 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 kind of throw each other's way before we get started here? No, I'm really mannered, so I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> oh Just good luck. my god! Whatever. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. See, Cosmo is better. No, I hope you don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started then. Why don't we jump in the game huh? and then um, have you guys kind of get off Skype for now? Okay. Yeah, we will so talk to you, you afterwards. Good luck, guys. Yeah, see you later. Yeah, we'll guys. start on daybreak, too. All right. So now we can talk dirty about all of them. God, God those guys man, are they are the most BM people I've ever met before in my life. <laughs> Chan, man. Goodness uh, gracious. Oh, gosh. Like, I got to wait till all these windows kind of disappear here, and then we can switch over to the to the overlay with just the two of us. But, yeah, so, you know, it's awesome to have Nurchio and Kasa on together, man. Uh you know, these two guys are, are two of the best European players in the world, not to mention just players, period, in the world. So, um, yeah, what do you think, man? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm really excited for this. Actually, uh, both of these players, I studied an extensive amount uh, when I'm um, just learning the game. Like, Koss, 
something that's so cool about him is that he plays just so many freaking games. So he has an insane amount of experience. He knows the right reactions to things. He knows the optimal reactions. So a lot of times I just copy all of his builds. And Nurchi <laughs> is just such like a, an intellectual player. I love to see his, his overall plan. So I was actually staring at his stream for a long time while I'm learning Zerg and um, just seeing what his plans were and, and how he's actually shaping the game to whatever he wants. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it's definitely like, you know, you summed it up pretty darn well right there. I mean, I, I, Koss is, I mean, there's, he's a beast. I don't think there's anybody I've seen that plays more games than he does. Just, I think there was one day he played like 11 straight hours, like on, like streaming. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, it's amazing that comment, how much he can, you know, the stamina he has. So, okay, yeah. we're getting the, the game started here. Let me switch over. Don't have scoreboard on today, guys, so I'll be uh, updating just with what the score is and that sort of thing, just because uh, scoreboard always makes us, like, kind of switch things up, and it's kind of a pain sometimes. Uh-oh, Grey Torps, your, your cam is kind of weird. Let me fix it. I'm no, sorry. We'll I apologize for my discussions. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. It's my fault. So we're going to be starting on Daybreak today, guys. Uh, I figured that would be the fairest, fairest map. How dare you, Chan Man. This is like everybody's least favorite map these days. <laughs> At least. That's what Mr. Bitter always says. He's like, why won't Daybreak die? Oh my gosh. Oh my Are you Daybreak died, there'd just seriously be no, no. I mean, Ben was, oh, what am I talking about? You're totally trolling me. <laughs> no, Ben would never say that. <laughs> no, he does. He hates, he hates Daybreak. He hates Daybreak? No joke. What? He hates Daybreak. He says the games are so dry now. I'm talking wow. about Mr. Okay. Bitter if you guys don't yeah. know. Wow, I'm surprised. Bad. Okay, I mean... I mean, obviously, Daybreak's been figured out. I mean, I give him that. But, you know, in general, though, this I still feel like this is one of the fairest maps, especially in this matchup. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Um, realistically, all we're going to be seeing is a lot of speed, medivacs, and stuff like that. I mean, there is a possibility we can go into mech play. But, obviously, Daybreak is a nice map for that. You're normally expanding into a line formation, going to, like, the top left and et cetera. And then it leaves your main a little bit open because there's more area to cover. So mm -hmm. we'll probably be seeing uh, Koss do a little bit of little bit of harass all game long. Right. And for those of you who don't know, you know, I'm not a caster. Okay. So <laughs> so uh, Great Tarp's <laughs> going to be showing me the ropes here. But you know, generally oh, speaking, when when, when we do these it. series, when we do these series, it, it's more about it's pro corner style. So you know, we'll be trying to point yeah, out yeah. cool strategies and stuff like that. Not so much like play by play craziness yeah. that some of the great casters do. So. That's that's my favorite type of style, Chad man. I just like to like nerd out on that's what right. these players are that's doing. That's what we do, man. We nerd out. I mean, and pro corner. Yeah, because you know when you're doing NASL, yeah, you, you're kind of putting on the show a little bit or anything. Every caster is mm -hmm. putting on a little bit of a show, saying, that's right. "Oh my god, that was so amazing! This is why <laughs> you should watch it. This was the best game yeah. I've ever seen." <laughs> but realistically, it's not the best game you've ever seen. Stop it. <laughs> You know who I'm talking about. Stop it. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> uh, we won't. We won't say any names. But all right. So look, pretty standard openings here. Fifteen hatch by yeah. Nurcio. Building his pool now. Fifteen pool. Uh, uh, stylistic thing, by the way, for Nurcio. I know he loves to do double uh, extractors on five minutes. Um, some people have different trains of thought, saying. I need to get my gas super early against Reapers, potential Reapers, and a lot of Hellion harass. Um, Nurchio always liked this style where you rely more on Queens to yeah. defend against Reapers and Hellions. So just so, stylistic. Let's talk about Nurchio in that drone up there in the front there. I noticed he didn't send a second Overlord, you know, just over over the na natural area. So yeah. he's probably just trying to protect. He's trying to scout bunkers there, right? Yes, protecting against Reaper bunker or Marine bunker or something like that. But. Yeah. Uh, he knows now that it's command center first, so we shouldn't be seeing many Zerglings at all. These two Zerglings that are popping in are just to clear out scouting uh, SCVs and put a, lot, a little bit of, not pressure, but just, like I guess, intelligent pressure trying to get in, see what's going on in case Koss is playing a super greedy build. Uh, but from here on out, it's just marine, uh, Marines, drones, and queens. That's it. That's all we're going to be seeing. And Koss clearing out that little plate there. Always, uh, always gets in the way. <laughs> Dude, I hate that plate. And you know what? I've gotten so freaking uh, used to just right-clicking it instead of attack moving because they changed it. Right. So right. now, 
I'll just right click it, go away, and I'm like, wait, what the heck? They're still there. That happens all the time on uh, Acalon Waste. <laughs> it's the most frustrating thing because those are nice. 2,000 HP, three armored rocks. It's the most an know, annoying it frustrating. Yep. Okay, so Costco went ahead and building that that early bunker there. So I, you know, one of the popular strategies these days are really these these early to mid game bailing busts by Zerg. So it'll be interesting to see if if Nurcio kind of opts for that. I kind of want to point out Nurcio's Overlord placements too. It's a, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good system he has. He's obviously using these towers, these lighted towers all around the map. Um, the one behind the natural, obviously, and uh, yeah. and his path is really safe too. Like like you're not going to get Overlords picked off the way he's sending his Overlords early on in the game, yeah. which is good. Definitely right, so. Taking a third. Everything's looking good. Nurcio, um, playing absolutely standard. Cost, though, is probably going to do a hell bad drop. We saw a very fast armory, mm -hmm. uh, a very fast starport, and no third command center. Normally, the the third command center is inevitable. You just need to have that to keep economic equivalence to Zerg, just because they drone so fast. Mm -hmm. But obviously, Cost not doing that. You can see in Harvesters, 32 to 40, of course, 9... Nine workers are equivalent to the two mules, so they're about even, as you can see in minerals and gas. And we're going to see Cost trying to put on pressure with these Hellbat drops or even these mine drops. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be up to Micro. All right, Hellbat drops. You know, I actually haven't seen Hellbat drops in a while on this map, believe it or not. <laughs> Maybe I've been missing a lot of games, but it'll be, it'll be cool to see some here. Okay, so it looks like the Widow Mines are going to be, be pretty much zoning out. I mean, I think the intentions for them are really to zone, zone Nurcio out a little bit, keep him off the map a little. He's got the two yeah. Hellions and the two Widow Mines, and uh, creeps, creeps inching its way towards that first Zalnaga Tower. But the third's up now, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty big macro game here, I think. These two players, yeah, too. Definitely. I mean, so. if anybody is going to be, be be pulling out early attacks, it's probably going to be Nurcio. <laughs> Out of these two, I would say. Well, Nurcio is um, pretty sufficiently saturated right now. Yeah, I think you know the double medevac drop is actually going to do a ton of damage, but unfortunately for Cost, three roaches are on the way out, so he will have queen coverage and roaches on the way. It just matters if he's in position, which he most likely won't be. Uh, Nurcio won't be in position, so Cost is probably going to do some damage here. Yeah, I like it. All right, here we go. So we got. Four Hellbats in Nurtio's mineral line here, which will kill. Yeah, this see, is good. This is him. really, really good. Wow, he's doing a lot. I mean, he's doing a lot of damage here. Because the double medevac are like so much more than just splitting it up. Oh, and for, oh, that Hellbat. Poor yeah. Hellbat. That's but I love this so <laughs> much more. Um, a lot of people would split it up, go to the third base, go to the main base, and mm -hmm. they would be like, okay, I'm going to do this multi prong harass, but. Realistically, I've only gone Zerglings and been able to hold that off. Really? And okay. it, it, yeah, it just shows you like you need that at least four. And then the double medevac heal is so much better. So I like Costa's mm -hmm. decision. He got out there only messed up with uh, with that one Hellbat, which is pretty negligible. Getting his third command center income tab showing very equal harvesters. I think everything's going swimmingly for Costa. They're still pretty equal though. Yeah, I mean, was that 12 workers, I believe? Yeah, 12 workers for one Hellbat there. Yeah. That's a good trade for sure. And, uh, but Nurture's still not in bad shape. He's on. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just saying, Nurture's still not in bad shape, though. But uh, no, no, he's no, going to no. have to drone pretty hard right now, though. But it's the fact that he has those two, um, the two Medivacs and the Hellbats from before, right? Like, yeah. I invested all into this harass. You invested all into economy. I equalized economy. Obviously, I have the advantage in those two medevacs and the hellbats. So that's where he's looking really, really good. All right. So, so the, were the, do you think the roaches were just to defend against that, or do you think he's going to go with a, a pretty ro heavy roach composition? I guess in, in anticipation for maybe a mech, a mech type of yeah, composition I, from I, from Koss. Normally you get the roaches just to defend against stuff like that. There, there's normally like a seven to nine minute attack that Terrans do, mm -hmm. and then eleven to thirteen normally if they're going bio. A little bit later if they're going mech. So mech, you're probably going to expect it around thirteen to fifteen minutes, just because of how uh, the macro works for them. The factories take a lot longer. Of course, they take a lot more gas than barracks. So we're probably going to see a slightly later attack cost. I think he's in great shape. I mean, he's powering pretty hard. 
and everything's looking good for him. And especially with Daybreak and Nurtio taking the center expansion, mm -hmm. if he took the bottom right expansion, it would have made a lot more sense to make a cross push. But because he took this middle expansion, he's going to be denied his 7th and 8th gases pretty early. And that can be pretty hard for, for Zerg to deal with that. All right, he's dropping those, some medibacks there, but then a bunch of roaches kind of snuck up behind him, so, but he picks them up. Didn't lose any there. I have a sneaking That's suspicion super. this is going to be a long game. <laughs> I, well, think, he, yeah. I think Koss is setting up his fourth game, or his fourth uh, command center here. Probably going to take that center, right? Um, yes. Yes, he must It's going to be that classic planetary fortress right in the middle there. Uh, it looks like Nurcio is kind of making his way to Hive. It'd be interesting to see what he chooses, you know, if he goes, if he decides to go with Ultra Tech or if he goes with uh, more of a Broodlord Infestor kind of yeah. composition here. It's pretty forced right here to get this Hive. You want to get those Swarm Hosts out ASAP. Also mm -hmm. incorporate some Hydras in there if you absolutely Ooh. can, but he is getting plus two melee, so it kind of makes me think he's actually going for something like Ultras directly after this, and he's just going to be trying to buy time with his roaches until... Yeah, I just want to point um, out that Nurtio dropped a couple roaches in the back of Koss's base, too. He got a few kills there. He got about four four worker kills there. Pretty cool. And now going to the third base. I love this turret yeah. coverage, man. Reminds me of old StarCraft Brood War days when I played fastest map ever. <laughs> just line everything with your Those turrets, man. Those were the days, man. <laughs> uh, just keeping cost busy. This is exactly yeah. what he needs to do until he can get hive tech. And yeah, that's what he's doing. Ultraless cavern. Uh, Zergs can drop, drop too, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Except they're not dropping too well. Oh yeah. god, he just lose uh, another overlord with all four roaches inside. So Nurcio just trying to stall right here. Units have showing 20, 20 roaches right now on the field. Obviously not enough. Uh, so he has to wait a long time, actually. That chitinous armor takes a very, very long time to actually yeah. upgrade. I just so if Koss actually chooses to push out here, he's gonna he's probably going to win the game, honestly. Well, I just want to point out the supply difference. I mean, there's a 55 <laughs> supply difference, and, and Terran has the advantage, which is definitely not a good thing yeah. for Zerg here. But look at that bank uh, of, of Nurcio. Yeah. He was at 4k, 2k, and sure. now he's just going to dump everything into ultras, but unfortunately supply gap because of all this dropping. Well, he, he he got seven of them built, so if the se if seven of them come out, I don't think it'll be enough, though. He's pretty much going to have ultra and nothing else. Maybe maybe these nine roaches here. But that's a lot of siege tanks and a lot of fire bats. Heck yeah, man. I, I love Nurcio, though, taking all of his drones, just relocating them to the bottom right. Mm -hmm. um, but Koss... If Koss plays this right, he should be able to take out another base. Uh, it should be this bottom right one, since yeah. it's a lot more fresh. You want to take that out? All right, the Ultras are out. Uh, ultras are on the way, and let's nice see how they do. Nurtio there. Oh, okay, actually. Oh, no, no, the Hellbats got, or the Firebats got out there in time just to kind of buffer between the tanks there. Those back tanks are doing a crap load of damage right now. Yeah, man, this is not looking good for Nurtio. Uh, nine more Ultras out in the way. I would have even implored him to just sit back. The problem with this, yes, it's good that you killed the majority of the Terran units, but the fact that he held on, that's two waves of units that he's already killed. Right. The Roaches and then the Ultras. So what's going to happen is Terran's banking like crazy, and you can see Koss is just throwing down as many factories as possible and command centers because he knows he's super, super far ahead. Just the fact that he's denied so much. He's actually denying Ultras in the bottom right-hand corner that are inside eggs. So oh, that yeah, is, them. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, wow. that is crushing Nurcio. Um, the the second push should be able to kill kill Nurcio. I, I would love if Koss just backed out with all these unit, units, tried yeah. to get out with these medevacs, and then just that went from there. That would be smart. All right, so he's going to clean this up. Um, but you know, one thing that Koss will know for sure is that you know Nurcio is going to be very, very heavily invested in Ultra. So. If he needs a tech switch, then you know it, he's, he's going to be in really, really good shape here. Yeah. Looks like he is. He's going to heavy Thor, getting some Hellbats to continue tanking for for their heavy artillery units. And Koss is looking in great shape, man. Heck yeah, man. And now if I were Koss, I would just build Supply Depot walls everywhere. <laughs> oh, right? that would be know, so painful. Yeah. I know my opponent ultra. is on Ultras. It's going to screw up the pathing. You don't have to make it super tight. 
but just throw them down. You have all this excess minerals, excess gas. Oh my mm. god, that's so many ultras. Cost was not expecting oh, this. This yeah, is actually this is good for. This is gonna be really good for. Uh, yeah. For Nurcio here, this might get him back in the game here. We'll see. He needs a very cost-efficient trade here, um, but it looks like there's just way too many Thor. Mm. Well, if those queens can get up there and transfuse a couple of times, yeah. he's going to be crushing this. And I think that's. Yeah, I, I think, think he's going to crush it regardless, cool. actually. Oh, nope, nope. Not quite. Well, he is going to win this Real battle, but it just wasn't yeah. cost efficient enough, though. Correct. And there's only three ultras, too. Look at the bank of Nurture. It's not that good. Four ultras on the way out, 12 Zerg queens. Income tab showing 720 gas, about 720 gas a minute that he's making. So that's three ultras a minute. You're not looking too great at that point, but uh, yeah, still going to be able to take that. Will not this. go down. There he goes. He's going to lose all those SUVs now too. And you know that little force is is hanging on. It's hanging on with a little bit of zergling reinforcements here. So okay, yeah. now he's backing off. He should be backing off here. But that was a good engagement for Nurse. He really, really needed that so to stay in Correct. this game. So. The big problem with that was just the fact that Casa's units weren't all together. He was pushing at the wrong time. Uh, it, it's unfortunate. I think he, he just overestimated his advantage, which almost rightfully so, because his advantage was just so gigantic. Yeah. But yeah. still, you need to you need to like calm down after that, because you know Zerg, once they spend their bank, that's when they're going to be the strongest. Uh, just wait it off, defend against it. Yes, you can let them bank up, but know that you just reduce their economy like crazy, right. and then go from there. Everything's looking good, though, still for costs, yeah. to tell you the truth. Those Banshees are doing a lot of damage to the Ultras each time. Um, so, Nertio is trying to go mass mass Queen and Ultra, kind of that composition to, to defend against it, but yep. I don't know, it's looking, looking like an interesting game, man. Heck yeah, man. Wow, what a great map choice. <laughs> who, who picked this map? I don't know. I don't know. Chan, man, you are so intelligent. Right. I think you're more intelligent than Mr. Bitter. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Ben's watching. He's in Vegas. No, he's in Vegas yeah, right that's now. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, so, look at all these queens. How many queens we got here? We got 21 queens, baby. No, we don't. Yes, we do. 21 queens. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> Who, thought, oh we'd ever, who thought we'd ever say that outside of a mono battle? <laughs> <laughs> that is 42 supply worth of queens. That's insane. Uh, I, I've never, ever done something like that, but it <laughs> seems like it's freaking good. Well, it looks like he's um, going to have uh, 8 ultras and 21 queens. We'll see uh, what that can do here. Yeah, <laughs> wow. <laughs> These ultras shouldn't yeah, die. So That's for darn sure. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely should not. Um... Everything's looking good. Hellbat drop in the bottom right hand corner again, denying Nurcio as much as possible. Yeah. He's going to kill the top left hand corner as well. Uh, Nurcio, so they're trading army. bases a little bit here. Uh, the fact of the matter is, well, Nurcio is ahead now. That's so sick, man. Nurcio is a it's, sicko. I can't yeah. believe this happened. I mean, at this point, Nurcio wants to trade pretty, just even pretty yeah. evenly at this point. I think he'd be okay. He he somehow got like the the greatest engagement. I thought Cost was still okay. He was still in this just because he'll have a good composition. He had the um, the orbital command centers, I think, to mm. to kind of supplement him quite a bit. But yeah, it would have been cool uh, to see Cost maybe go into some ravens here, but um, you know maybe yeah. even a ghost for the queens. But you know he's sticking with the the heavy Thor. It's pretty much a Thor Banshee composition. I mean he's got some Hellbats kind of left over from before, but. Um, we're pretty much seeing the <laughs> Ultra Queen against Thors. Oh, kite, kite the Ultras. That would be so sick, like Marauders. Oh, oh man. my god, the are AI you kidding with, me? The AI with the extractor. Look at this healing. <laughs> you see the healing? Yeah, this, I am this seeing is it. This ridiculous. Oh, I could not believe the that DPS just happened. Is, the DPS is still a little too large with so yeah. many Thors, though. Running back. Still, it's he whittled impaired. it down. As long as he can get some kind of trade, he had a lot of, bank, a lot of minerals banked up. So, uh... Yeah. That's only going to help, help cost. I mean, help uh, nurse you at this point. He's got some zerglings at his at Kasa's third here, just continuing to harass, prevent him from mining here. And yeah, this Man, is getting tight. It's getting tight. This this next engagement is going to be, I think, the deciding factor here. We'll see. Uh, see who gets right. the better end of this one. I mean, nurse you is so far ahead now. Apparently, I was yeah, super wrong with my assistant before. About a hundred um, supply ahead here. Because, you know, I, I figured cost was okay, they have equal army counts, the <laughs> Thors are going to smash the Ultras, he has Hellbats, this is going to be great. Nope. 
Well, he did roll out just a tiny, or he did roll out just a little early, like you were saying. If he would have just held back yeah. until he maxed again, I think. Uh, oh yeah. That that push would have been much, or that engagement would have been much more, uh, much much beneficial to to cost there. Okay, here we oh, go. Yeah. This might be the last engagement here because cost doesn't have very much money. And Nurtio with a win. Good game. So sick, good man. game. I like it. I like it. It's a good game to yeah, start Koss, out with. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Cost just got like one more minute to max out uh, before that big ultra fight where obviously he lost everything. I think he would have for sure won that, but he just stepped out into the field a little bit too soon. You don't have to rush killing your opponent's expansions after that first, um, after, well, after that huge bank is used up by Zerg. Because if you think about it, you're scared of ultras. Each base only nets your opponent about one ultra a minute. It's not really that much. They're also, you know, spending upgrades and stuff. You have a little bit of time. You can give them two extra ultras for two minutes right. and, and just max out. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. But he tried to, to really, you know, go through with it. And rightfully so. He felt he was super far ahead. He killed so many ultras after that first engagement. Things look good. Unfortunate. Nurture is a sicko, though. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely you know that was you know that's definitely a lesson to a bunch of Zerg. You know, don't panic. Just let your let your ultras come out and and you know again. Usually, when a Zerg can trade decently or pretty even with a with a Terran, as long as the economy is not just you know completely destroyed, then you know they're in pretty good shape. Okay, it looks like Cost yeah. is picking New Kirk. Not surprised. <laughs> Not surprised at all that he's thinking New Kirk, but currently Nurchio is up 1-0, playing a best of seven. This is a show match between Koss and Nurchio, and afterwards, guys, we're gonna they're gonna hop on and do some analysis of uh, you know one of the games from the series. So, all right, let's get this puppy started. But I think after next game, guys, we might take a call. Just uh, just anybody that wants to call in that you know maybe has a cool pro corner, you know, memory or anything in the last hundred episodes, uh, you know. Be sure to message me and that sort, and we'll pull you on real quick. Okay, I think everybody's good. This is Nurtio ready? Yeah, here we go. All right, switching to the game. I am I'll switch tweeting the game in a right now. All right, cool. Nurture. All right, Newkirk. Well. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, what can we expect to see on Newkirk? Are we going to be seeing an hour-long game, or uh, <laughs> are we going to see a... Sweet Jesus. <laughs> a fairly like quick that. game. Okay, so this is the, nor <laughs> this is the normal, <laughs> like, way you play Newkirk City, okay? See how there's four, five, six... Is that right? Seven expansions for each side? Yes. yes seven, seven expansions for each side. As Terran, you look at those middle two expansions on the Zerg side and you say, I'm going to deny those expansions and keep my opponent on five bases. Okay? Right. That's what you normally do. And the rest of it, you just slowly turret wall everything, throw down planetary fortresses in the middle of the map, go mech, all siege tanks, all Vikings into Battlecruiser Raven. And yep. Chanman, I don't know if you know this, but that takes a long time. <laughs> that means we're gonna have a yes, really that does take game. a long time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are the nameplates? Shoot, where, how do we bring up the nameplates again? Jeez, I, forget, I thought they, they I thought they were up by default. I'm so used to replays now, man. Can you have names up here? I forget. Uh, uh yes, Control N. Oh yeah, Control N. Jeez, <laughs> duh. It's been so long, man, since I've uh, Don't get me. since I've done a show match, so. But yeah, right. I actually talked to Fuser about this map a lot, and he just laughs because <laughs> it's a free win. That's what he says. It's a free win. It's a free win for him. Yeah, because you just awesome. sit turtle, and then you win the game because Zerg can't take more than 10 gases. Oh, no. <laughs> 10 gases. Yeah, that's what I said. And do you know what he does? He, he literally has like 6 APM at endgame, and he's just like, <laughs> oh, all I have to do is wait for 30 minutes. And then his main and natural dries up in gas, and now he's only down to six. <laughs> How sick is that, man? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's that's the 30... Uh, okay, I I'm going to tell you a story that all the EG guys used to make fun of me for. All right. It was like right. LZ, LZ Gamer, I think In Control, Machine, uh, Inca. They all made fun of this timing I had in Brood War called the 21-minute timing, okay? <laughs> I said, at 21 minutes, your main and your natural mines out. 
So all you have to do is wait until 21 minutes and Zerg is pretty much screwed. <laughs> and they just crapped on me for that. They were like, oh my god, great job. You're 23 minute timing. And, and, and that's all they talked about, right? That's that's what I was known for in that click. And now, now the 30 minute timing comes out in Newkirk City. Who's laughing now, EG? <laughs> that's right, that's Sorry. right. You're, you're such an oracle, man. <laughs> you're an oracle. Obviously so. Yeah, shove it machine. <laughs> okay, looks like the openings look pretty much the same as uh, last game here. I think the... Oh, I, oh no, so it was Barracks first. He, I think he went... Uh, Koss went Rax first this game. Looks like he may be opening with Reactor here. Yeah. Okay. He'll, he'll be transitioning into... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. He's going into barracks. I don't yeah. know what he's doing. I think he's going with honest. heavy bio opening here. So yeah, he's going to be. He's got that bunker though. The bunker placement's interesting. I guess he's he's expecting to wall off in time here for any kind of. Oh yeah, he's open with reapers. He just totally missed the reaper. Okay, there yeah. we go. Now you can do that type of um, type of opening by cost with the bunker up front if you know your opponent is double gassing at five minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, if they're going like a, a super early gas, like pre three minutes or three minutes thirty seconds, uh, just know that as soon as you start your gas, it's about three minutes until it finishes. Uh, metabolic boost finishes, so we're talking eight minutes into it. You're not mm -hmm. really going to have a very very fast speedling opening, so <laughs> he can be bold. He could put his marines up there and, and know that he's not expecting any run buys. That's he's right. just very safe. Got it. So because you know this generally is not a zerg. You know, Zerg friendly map. Or do you ever see Zerg just ask ah, it, We're just going to go two base all in, or or even you know three hatch with you know not much saturation all in here. So the thing about two base is that factories just counter every two base. Mm -hmm. That's basically how it goes down. Uh, if if you build a factory, you can get siege tanks, which counter a lot of the roach all ins. You can get mines, which counter everything in the all ins. <laughs> Um, yeah. So it's it's really really difficult. You can put on pressure, and sometimes you can kill your opponents. But generally, if Terran plays right, they should never die to a two base all in. So a lot of times, people just refute any two base play uh, that exists. Of course, you see mm -hmm. the occasional baneling bust yep. to punish really really super greedy play. But overall, I would say very heavy three base pressure. Uh, the way Zerg's cheese these days, I would say, is. The most ridiculously fast hive. That's really the best way that you can go from it. You it's either get economic cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, honestly, you just pray that they don't attack you. You tech up super, super fast. Maybe you get something like Ultras. You get your plus two chitinous armor. And all of a sudden, you have plus. Well, you have five armor on your Ultras against these Marines that maybe have plus two. So you're looking really, really good. All right. Let me put it on Kosky real quick here. Give me one second. I just need to shut my door real quick. Alright. So Mir Koss right. is going to realize my door up. was open the whole time. I usually have my door open or closed, so. That's all good. No visitors will come in and peek their heads in here. <laughs> Alright, so we got. Uh, okay, so Klaus is completing that wall at the natural, and. So it's going to be pretty difficult to do any kind of uh, yeah, it's kind of early attacks and there's no roach warrant or anything like that. And spire's going down, so I think we're kind of pretty clear as to what. Uh, well, actually, roach warrant is down, but he's going spire here. This I think we're going to be seeing the classic muta Ling This Bane is so one. sick, man. Mm -hmm. Super, super sick. I mean, these. It's like Cost knows where every single overlord is, and he's dodging them. These two medevacs filled with marines. <laughs> That's awesome. This is trying to pu this is trying to punish Cost's uh, no Nurtio style which is to go a small amount of roaches in the early game stages to defend against a lot of like the Hellions and the mm, Reapers. Right. Because that's what people mainly do, and roaches are like invincible against them with queens. But all of a sudden you have stimmed marines with two medevacs. Oh my god, I do not want to be engaging against that. Um, well, he should actually try to though. engage. He's doing a distance. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why he's like backing off. Yeah, like, I would have... Yeah, oh. he's. I think he could have killed that. Um, really unfortunate. Inertia might pick oh, up a, a he might actually big lose. medevac kill. Oh, he already oh. uses boost. He already uses boost too. Oh, oh wow. that's huge. I don't know. That's it's really pretty questionable, but definitely he got the worst end of that. <laughs> I mean, he shouldn't have ran away yes. like that for sure. But um, correct. 
And I really feel, I mean, it's only four four roaches. Yes, the three queens are very, very strong. Mm -hmm. And with the four roaches, you can obviously one-shot marines, but it takes a very long time. So if you, all you have to do is focus down two of the roaches, that's what I would do, two roaches, and then go for the queens. That way you can't get one-shotted. Your marine count still stays high enough, and uh, you can remove the really important units. Ah, uh, that's a good point. That's the math. That's that's the Grey Torp math I know right there, man. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, man, Grey, Grey Torp has the most analytical, like, I mean, he, he's the most analytical mind when it comes to this game because he knows all the the times, the costs, everything, man, of every, you know, and how they all work out, so. Almost everything, but yes, I pride <laughs> myself on that chain, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are my I'm the best in the industry. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we got to be the best at something. <laughs> exactly. Uh, transitioning into just bioplay, so I, I don't mind this. I, I think bioplay is a lot more exciting than mech, that's for sure. But right. muta's muta transition, I love this transition from uh, from Koss, uh, from Koss, from Nurchio. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just this isn't really to do harass. It's more so to keep your opponent honest with these medevacs, mm -hmm. so they can't just fly around willy nilly doing whatever the hell they want. You actually have to be very precise. You have to do it around the mutalisks. And on top of that, you have to put turrets all around the map. This is going to be a good chance for Nurgio to go ahead and probably take a couple of expansions, too. So he'll mm -hmm. take his fourth base. I wouldn't be surprised if he took a fifth base in the top left as well. Yeah, this is where it starts. This is where that kind of balance or this this kind of tug of war between the, the two players, you know, as to who's going to be dictating, right, and who's going to be harassing kind of kind of comes in yeah. and usually usually the winner of these games are the ones that are like you know doing all the harass you know whether it's cost dropping everywhere and Nurtio just having to keep his mutas back on his side of the map and and defending against it or it's you know it's the opposite and Nurtio's just mm -hmm. kind of or you know everywhere there's mutas but widow mines usually tend to be pretty pretty good at, at kind of preventing mutas from from uh harassing everywhere oh yeah definitely I mean, you absolutely need those Widow Mines for not only that, but the Banelings. They're mm -hmm. the pseudo siege tanks, I want to say, but a little bit more effective and cost-efficient. Yeah. And what's so cool about them is that you can actually target, thank you, Chan Man Corner, Pro Corner, because this is where I actually found this out. You can target the Banelings uh, if you're quick enough. And I think once Terrans start doing that a lot more, all they're going to be targeting is those Banelings and, and really empowering everything else, so... I can't wait to actually see that as um, as Terran play evolves and people get a handle on on their army. Yeah, and Nurch is doing but a great job with those mutas, man. Him, he's he's not building anymore. He's just yeah. using this time to get his upgrades, get all his infrastructure in place, go to Hive, and uh, you know he's just setting up for late game here. Doing a good job. Koss is keeping up with everything too. He's starting to make his tech lab on the factory to get that tunneling claw, which <laughs> enables your your um, widow mines to burrow in one second instead of three seconds—a very contrasting difference. Again, coming in here with these mutas, I can't believe. Okay, every time I harass with mutas, like <laughs> I, I don't do, do this. I never do this, Chan Man. He, he must be turning them sideways, like to to avoid all those those <laughs> mutas. I don't know how he's doing it either, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. He has like six mutas. They've done a ridiculous seventeen workers killed so far. <laughs> exactly. How is this possible? Okay, I think they're dead now. Okay, I think they're dead now, too. <laughs> <laughs> hold position! Hold position! Uh, okay, he's attacking at the attack same time with the, yeah. with the Banes and Roaches and Lings here at the front. That's a sick time to attack, by the way. He's taking advantage of how all the units are trapping the Mutas. He's mm -hmm. like, I don't care about those. Goes in with a big attack, but I think Koss uh, isn't too worried about bad. that. Yes, yeah, he it lost. wasn't too bad for him. I mean, he only lost like 10 workers there. Yeah. And... Uh, you know, the Zerg lost, you know, pretty much the majority of his army, just the, the uh, army supply there, so it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's not it's not great, don't get me wrong, because mm -hmm. you always want SEVs, you want your units to be in position, you want your Widow Mines to be in position to intercept that better. But that was pretty costly, there's a lot of Banelings, but at this point, Nurchio, his economy is kind of even with that. You can see his yeah. bank really allowed him to remax on this, not remax, but get more Banelings, get more Zerglings and Roaches, so he can just... Rinse and repeat, 
Yeah. And until he gets like Ultralisk Cavern, which is coming up right now, uh, that's when. Oh boy, the Widow Mines. Oh, oh, oh well, the Widow Mines blew up both Overseers there. That's when yeah. it's time to get out of the town, when both Overseers are gone there. Yeah, um, man. <laughs> um, this, and, this and realistically. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. I, I was going to say, realistic, realistically, Koss doesn't want to be fighting on creep. Mm -hmm. So, how he wants to position this is his Widow Mines off of creep. His unit's barely touching the creep, just denying stuff, and then backing up if if uh, Nurchio wants to force a fight. And then it should be double dropping or triple dropping, something like that. He needs to actually get stuff done. You don't want to be just attacking with a single amount of units, because if you do, you will always be behind in this first fight. I mean, it's so, so hard to be cost efficient with just one army. Okay, Nurchio counterattacking here, and uh, let's see if he's going to actually engage the main army here. Doesn't look like it. His veins are not going to get even close to, to Koss here, so I'm not sure that was a good exchange for Nurtia there. No. Um, I'm surprised well, he didn't just I, try I to take Nurtia's... it on. Gosh, um, head on, actually. Because Nurtia's he knows he doesn't have a fourth. He doesn't have a fourth, so... Yeah. But Nurtia's just trying to buy time here. Uh, mm. he's, he knows Koss is in a position where he wants to be oh, pushing at this point. Gosh. Nice veiling hit, by the way. Oof. Killing off. Or, excuse me, nice, Widowman. Uh, Widow right? oh. Yeah, Widowman yeah. just nailed it. I'm so it. used to saying Banley hit, right? <laughs> it just reminds but, me of that, um, that YouTube video that, that's out there now with uh, Quantic Ben. And... Yes. <laughs> that's <an> awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, looks like Koss is kind of uh, gathering up his his army at the top here. Yeah, I think he's going to be pushing here. He's, at, he's maxed out now, getting some bank, so. It's usually the right. That's usually uh, spells the timing to start pushing here. Clearing out some creep tumors now. Oh God! Uh, the ulcers are out now. This is gonna. This, this is gonna be huge moment. This is gonna be diff This is gonna be very difficult for Cost to to win here. I, I really feel like he should be double medevac dropping somewhere on the field. Yeah, I Even his yeah. medevacs don't have a lot of energy. Things aren't looking good. He's gonna be sandwiched from two sides. He can't kite at all. Oh, uh, that Widow oh, Mine sorry. blew Why up. Why do you need to kite? I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. Okay? That Widow Mine this blew up like 30 days, dude. <laughs> I do not understand what just happened there. Oh my god, we might oh, have to watch that replay again. Because <laughs> that one Widow Mine blew up like 30 bands there. <laughs> that that's, was pretty sick. God, this never happens to me. And that's why I Widow Mines make things exciting, man. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what just happened, gentlemen. <laughs> Wings of Liberty, he's dead. For uh, sure, Wings of Liberty Cost is dead in that battle. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, okay, so that went completely wrong. Uh, apparently I need to play more Heart of the Swarm because I don't know shit. That's <laughs> uh, my language. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so <laughs> Cost is apparently way ahead because that army that had no energy in any of the medevacs <laughs> um, was better than Nurtio's army, who had better upgrades at the time, and uh, a surround. So, uh... Well, Koss well, is, you know, isn't following it up quick, so he's, he's giving Nurtio some time here, and I, I agree, he should have been dropping, too, at the same time. Because I think if he was dropping behind it, it would have been game over already. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's playing out to be a really, really great... I mean, fun game. He's letting Nurcio, you know, get some time to to get a fifth up. Is that a fifth? That's a fifth. Yeah, has a fifth up on the uh, top left hand corner, and you know he's maxed out too. So it's going to be another 200, 200 first 200, 200 uh, battle right here, and we'll see if the Widow Mines have as much impact as they did last game, the last battle here. So one thing that'll help Widow uh, against Widow Mines is going to be. Um, the fungal growth, for sure. So I love the incorporation of mm -hmm. investors. I think that's one of the focal points, just so that you can lock things down before the, the units get off creep. I love what Cost has been doing. You can see the middle of the map now. There's no blue over there. I mean, all the creep tumors mm -hmm. were just taken out. Yeah. And he's using this time where both these players are remaxing to just say, let me deny as much creep as possible. It gives me more options so I can put my army in a better place. And then from there, um, you can overall get better engagements. Uh, it just empowers yeah. you. It doesn't give you the win, but it empowers you for later yeah. on. Yeah, I like the spore placement by Nurtio on the sides here. Um, you know, there's nothing more annoying than having having you know having your Terran opponent drop, but even more annoying is having that same medevac drop you like over and over and over and over sure. again. So uh, at least getting rid of the medevac just makes it a one-time or a, a 
uh, you know, kind of one-time flight, I guess, by the, the meta back here. Yeah. But, you know, the one thing is, is like, Kost, Kost will take split map any day on this map. I mean, you know, the Terran units... No, no, no. Are late... Oh. Any Terran would take split map <laughs> That's right. any day. That's what I mean. Map. That's what I mean. The, the Terran <laughs> units are just more... Here. The Terran units are just more cost-efficient at the end of the games, and, uh... You know, so he's okay. He's okay with just, like, hanging out on his side, but it looks like Nurcio is... Is going to be making a run for the the fourth here of, of or the third I think of of Koss here, and it's going to be killing some SUVs, but he's not going to kill a command center, of course. He's going to see that he doesn't have a uh, a fifth down there, but he's probably going to be I running, I assume. Up. Yeah, he's going to be running here. Yeah, oh, that would have been pretty no? expendable, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, the, it's just for the fact that um, you know. Koss already basically mined out most of it, yeah. and now it is a liability at this point. While he's trying to do split map, it, it makes the push distance a lot closer. Mm -hmm. So no reason to defend that. I agree with everything Koss just did there. Just back up, let it go, take the top right hand corner, and really try to start. Um, yeah. You know, just just having the map as you were saying before, Chairman. Yeah, I think we're going to start seeing Koss kind of make that that maze of uh, of buildings soon here, just to make those ultras really. The AIs for those ultras really be uh, tested, <laughs> or or really go yeah. bad, really. <laughs> I mean, so he's, you're going to start seeing some more planetary fortresses and probably barracks and factories all over the place here. Um, all right, so it looks like another command center is being built in the top, but he's going to he's going to get in here. He's got he's got units in the base, got some zerglings in the natural in the main, and then now he's going to be making this big attack on the fourth here. Bane, Bane just blow up the planetary fortress immediately. And uh, I think he's going to run here. Okay, yeah, he's going to be backing yes. off. Did the damage. Super sick. Yep. Super sick play. Um, just doing everything right. I would love him to actually make Nidus networks for some sort of escape because a lot of times you can lose a lot of stuff in this position. If Koss went up from the direction of um, that middle right-hand position all the way to the top middle instead of trying to chase, he could have actually cut off all the units. Yeah. Force and engagement, of course, Koss... Lot, or excuse me, Nurcio lost a lot of Zerglings to the bottom right, and then on top of that, you lost a lot of Banelings to that Planetary Fortress. Koss needs to push out right now. Um, you know, we're seeing a consistent trend of Koss getting ahead a little bit in this early mid game stage, and then Nurcio just playing a fantastic. Oh, he's, he's ca he fantastic caught the Widow Mines. He caught the Widow Mines uh, yeah, so unbroad there, at least the front ones, and I don't know. I think Nurcio should still back up here. This is not a really great position yes. for him. He I mean, he's in that choke. Back. Yeah, he definitely wants him in that little choke that, he, that he's starting to make his way through. He doesn't have much energy left oh. on his oh on his investors. I don't think this is going to end well for Nurcio, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Bio in a tight choke against Ultras is bad for sure. <laughs> but uh, his reinforcements are coming. Eleven Three. Ultras. On oh, the did oh you see God. those bait? Blow up those widow lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, that made it all better for Nurcio. Just that one explosion on the widow mines. He killed like ten widow mines there. That's crazy. And look at the supply difference right now. This is insane. Now, Koss, um, he has a lot of production facilities, but he has no minerals. Like he has no income at all. Mm -hmm. He's just mining off of mules. It looks like. Yes, he is. Just only mules. So that's why his income is only twenty four hundred minerals instead of like four thousand. Yeah, I want to point out um, though that Koss has a, a you know healthy number of ravens now. And Ravens are, you know, just enormously cost Beautiful. efficient in this in this matchup right now because yes. I mean, what's going to kill it? <laughs> hey, the fungals, you're going to take a lot of fungals to kill those. Hunter seeker missiles, baby! Heck yeah, man! I, I love the targeting uh, now on those red ones. Oh my! That one that's landed and hit a bunch of the the zerglings there. But I, are are they out of energy now? I think they might be out of energy now, so it might be time for Nurcio to push in here. But Nurcio just constantly putting the pressure. I mean, it's just like. It's just yeah, Koss hasn't had time to breathe really, so it, it's beautiful, man. And everything's looking good. Denying this uh, this fourth base in the top right hand corner. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I was actually talking to Demog about this because in uh, well, well, we'll watch this big fight right here? now. Yeah, there, there's nothing that Koss uh, has to really be scared of because he can actually kite these ultras. I know yeah. it's still a lot of ultras, but he can kite Never them all day long. Baby. Oh, this is gonna oh, be nasty! Wow. Oh, I only killed one though. Yeah, I only killed one. But those that's old, okay. Those, I mean, those five are those five uh, carapaces is really good. He's gonna be doing that all day long, and there's no creep on his side, so you need a very large infester count to actually catch those those 
that bio force, mm, right? Or you need uh, just over overwhelming numbers. But at this point, he's at 165 supply uh, casas, and he doesn't have a lot of workers. 39 workers only to 80 of Nurgio. So I think he has a pretty comfortable army, even though obviously the supplies tell a little bit differently. The mules are good, but not quite that good. But you know, again, I mean, it's just cost being ping ponged here by Nurgio. And Correct. This is kind of surprising on this map because you usually see the opposite. But you know, I have to point out, like Nurcio just was able to establish all those spores on his in his main to completely cut off one, you know, one, one path for 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 uh, dropping. You know, obviously pulling you apart. So shutting that down is so huge when it comes to to um, really controlling the game. So, yeah, and, definitely so. I mean, I, I love how Nurcio has done this. Uh, he's even denying some more this bottom left hand corner. Uh, yeah. He has the burrowed zerklings, as you were saying. Uh, I know you said it before, but uh, Koss sent in more units, and he still was able to kill all of them. So, yeah. uh, as you said, ping ponging everything all over the place. Things are looking great for Nurcio. He's been able to establish his bases, uh, and uh, I can't see him really losing here. Yeah, but I can't he does. Either. Those those uh, zerglings are going to unburrow in a second. <laughs> those zerglings are going to unburrow in a second, and then there goes all those mules. Yeah. In. But this is what's so frustrating. The oh, hunter seeker it? missiles. They're they're actually so 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 powerful. Yeah. And are. oh my god, cost. Oh, oh caught him in the bad a spot. Wonderful. Oh, I was going to say a wonderful engagement. Oh, it was. It was. He should have. He. Oh wow! I thought he. Ha he I thought he was going to be able to kill all the ultras there. He kills the majority of them though. Um, yeah, this is this is great. Uh, that's the the thing. Like, Koss really, really wants to take these fights off creep. Ultras just cannot catch the rest of the units. Mm -hmm. And when you seeker missile all the the um, the investors, it really disables the ultras to be attacking as much. That's why Nurcio wants to be pushing the creep far forward. Like, that's what's going to really empower his end game army. And that's why I feel like ZVT is really, really difficult still at this end game stage because Seeker Missile is still so effective defensively. Yep. But if you can push that creep along, you're going to be a lot better just to chase all of those units. So that bio army, you know, it looks really, really large, but majority of those units are injured right now with no medevacs. I mean, there's only there's there's two medevacs with no no energy on them, and uh, quite honestly, the ravens are pretty hurt too. So this will be, this could, this could be pretty. Pretty bad for Kasabi. He gets a few fungals on those ravens. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh, my. oh those oh hunter seekers are in the middle of everything. Oh! oh. My goodness. Wow. I think those hunter seekers hit all hit the same thing. <laughs> yeah. That was ridiculous. Where is Nurture's army? What is I don't he understand have either. I mean I think they're in, in they're being built. Sixty six Zerglings, thirteen Banes, and twelve ultras are being built. So the supply right now on the field is very, very low. Yeah. But at the same time, Cost isn't mining at all. Like, yeah. he's been he's been stopped completely. So, uh, if this doesn't work, Cost is is completely dead. But we'll see right now, as Bailings are gonna get co connections. I no don't know if it's gonna be enough. Time. See, the, just the very very small difference of being on creep and not being on creep. Yeah. You can see the massive difference. Zergling swing in here. Cost is gonna be swept up. Yeah. And Nurcio will take the game. 159 supply to 46. Things are looking great for Nurcio. My God, this game was so, <laughs> so, so sick. That that uh, engagement Trish, right there was exactly the same about like 10 minutes ago, except for there are no winning mines. <laughs> yeah. So what, what's the what's the lesson learned there, guys? <laughs> the lesson where there is hunter seeker missiles are just flying widow mines and you should get <laughs> both <laughs> whoops, whoops. Uh, it's good stuff good stuff all right looks like nurture takes new kirk and is up 2-0 in our best of seven between uh acer nurture and empire cost man zerg looking tough man heck yeah no nurture looking tough man. yeah exactly he's, he's just sicko those mutas man those early mutas i feel like we're uh you know we're we're an integral part in really Really getting his his infrastructure, getting all his upgrades really in place, so that he could get those great, great uh, you know exchanges kind of mid game and mid late game there. Those seven mutas, I swear, man, how many did they kill? They killed like twenty workers or something. It was like ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it was obscene. I think it was only like seventeen, but or thirteen or seventeen. I'm not sure. Something like that. I, I say only. I really shouldn't have said that. But 
<laughs> um, you know, <laughs> okay, some of the Bill things Scher. I would say costs costs need to do was again those double double medevac drops are super super important against ground based mm. armies. Uh, really punishing your opponent for not having whoa, corruptors whoa, 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 in your whoa. army. Uh oh, it's starting. Well, Why is it starting? Oh no! I actually, wait. oh, I clicked the, I clicked the join game. Such a noob move. Oh, this well, guy's gonna get a free win right here. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna be doing Belshire Vistage here. Um, cost pick that map. It's a, it's a good Terran map. It is. It's a bad Zerg map. Yeah. Very choky. Very rampy. Uh, all things that are not good for surrounds, which are desperately wants. Hey, I got the 15-year StarCraft wants. award for, for surrendering in a game immediately. Nice. I am entering a lobby forever. I yeah. need to relog. I'm bugged. Okay, guys, just to remind you, we're going to be doing a giveaway at the end of the show after just all the Q&A and everything. We'll be giving away a Razor uh, Black Widow Ultimate uh, 2013 keyboard. And uh, let's see. Let me hold on. Let me get this game started here, and I'll I'll fill you guys in. Uh, but we'll also be giving away a crack a Razer Kraken Pro headset uh, to somebody with a really you know the coolest Pro Corner memory just from the last hundred hundred episodes. There's been a lot of episodes, guys. A lot of these players have been on, and uh, uh, it's hard for me to remember them honestly. I'm, I'm kind of to kind of <laughs> remind me some of the uh, the really really great times. We've had lots of them. Okay. Andre, how many how many pro corners have you watched? I don't know. <laughs> Hard to count. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll tune in and then like tune out, and then yeah. like it's it's, it's long. It's, I mean, it's not like, like yeah. super super consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll tune in for as much as I can, obviously, while I'm. I'm like laddering or something. Yeah. But it, it's it's definitely in like at least twenty or thirty. It's not like every single one. Sorry, Chan Man. I'm ashamed. <laughs> I can't right believe now. you. You're off the show I mean, now, Dan. I You're completely every off the show. Every single one. Gosh. <laughs> right, hey, go. Chan Man. How many of my casts have you? Watched? <laughs> oh shit, man. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay, so I have to say I watched all of season one in ASL. I did watch all was, of season one. That should that should that say was, enough right there. Yeah, that was. I even there, watched yeah. your round table show for a while. Okay. <laughs> all right. So. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, man. That was that was a good time. I watch everything. That's what people should know. I watch everything. <laughs> Chen Man's actually the biggest degenerate StarCraft. <laughs> oh come on. Person. In, in, in AKA fan. The, StarCraft fan. <laughs> Hey man, I'm the biggest CJ too. I mean, that's something that's great. Shh, don't tell anybody. No, it's something to be proud of. <laughs> that's right. That's right. These days, Dan, it's something to be proud of. Seriously. Well, oh, we got two. Got two SV. Okay, we got a. What's that SV doing? Oh, we looks like we got proxy coming, guys. Proxy coming. Yeah. This is the famous 888. Have you heard yeah. of this? Yeah, who hasn't? Have I been killed by it many times? Yes, I have. Do you know how to defend against it? That's I don't think thing, I actually though. know. I don't know the the. No, I don't. I technically know the way the best way to the, defend against it. Okay, if you know your opponent oh, is so not in -game drone guys, scouting. In -game. Yep. If you know your opponent is not drone scouting, what you can do is this build, mm -hmm. and if they fifteen hatch, they're going to lose the hatch one hundred percent of the time, and they're going to lose a lot of drones. Right. However, if they they do scout, what you do, you cancel the hatch, make a spawning pool, defend against the reaper as best as possible, and you make a hatchery inside your opponent's base, and you just go roaches. From oh, there. wow. Okay. And Sounds... what that's going to do is is either one of two things. You can pull all your SCVs, because you need like around seven SCVs to, to kill the hatchery before it goes up. So seven, which constitutes a very large portion of your economy, or you bring your reapers home. And all I have to do is cancel my hatchery, and all of a sudden your reapers are doing nothing. You invested yeah. so much into these reapers, and I just go roaches for defense, continue expanding, right. continue getting my economy. You get down to a great. pretty big lead there, actually, or at least a Correct. somewhat some a lead at least. Um, Correct. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, it's always cool to kind of see the you know the risk rewards out of these uh, these builds and building a hatch in the base is always fun. Always love seeing you know root cats do the those type of 
these strategies, whether it's against Heck Protoss yeah, or Terran. <laughs> and uh, we do have a, an STV scout drone coming out here, and he's just going to check for um, any incoming attacks. But he's expecting like 1111, that type of attack. 888 is just super, super scary. And look at this bunker placement. So, 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 so sick. Well, he's going to see the bunker now, so, but it's going to be a little late. No queen building quite yet. He's, he's kind of waiting for the double queen. That's going to be that's going to hurt. Um, he's not doing anything. Still he's no building queens. Zerglings. Now he's finally Oops. building his queen. Kind of late on the, the queens there. Oh! Oh, he almost, he almost got, got it. Oh, he would have gotten that. If he would have gotten that SCV, that would have been uh, huge. Oh, he's going to get it. He's going to get it. Okay, well, that's going to definitely help. But still, this Reaper is doing some damage. And a second one's going to be coming. So he's going to need a lot more than six Zerglings here. Correct. Oh, but, I mean, he's, he's done a good job so far. Oh, God, God, God. Don't lose these Reapers. They're super, super important. Uh, I love how he's tanking some, though. So how many Reapers and is he going to build? He's building a third here. I mean, he's just going to continually yes. build Reapers here? Okay. Correct. He's going to build them as much as possible until his economy is good, and he knows he's weakened his opponent enough. Uh, things are looking good. He can even make a command center if he really wants to. Yeah, that's what I but figured he would do here. But Now that the oh. queens are out, it's going to be a little bit harder, but what he wants to do is start uh, attacking the queens to just get them low in HP, he's got and two. then just back them out. Yeah, so, there you so, go. So uh, now got this queen two is a liability. He's got two Zerglings in Costa's base, too, just to kind of counter harass, take some APM away from Costa here. Um, it's always smart. Didn't have the door. I mean, the door wasn't. I mean, the ramp wasn't blocked at all. So uh, it's always a smart thing for Zerglings to do that. You know, just it's only two Zerglings. You know, two Zerglings probably wouldn't have necessarily made a huge difference um, against three Reapers there. So much more, uh, okay. much effect, more effective way of using them here. Okay, here comes the battle. I think Zerch is pretty safe here, unless Cost would have gone into the main, kind of did that ping ponging. But yeah. What do you think the so yeah. he thinks in ahead right now? I think uh, honestly, Nurchio with these two Zerglings has been fantastic. I can't mm -hmm. believe he was able to pull that off and, mm -hmm. and get that in there. I do feel like Kass is behind, slightly behind, but he is behind. Um, he didn't get nearly as much damage as he needed to for four drone kills so far. That's really not enough. He does have a lot of Reapers on the field, which help out. But the fact that those two Zerglings got in there stopped a lot of mining time. Also. Got a good scout out, saw what his opponent was going. It wasn't a continued all-in. It was a command center directly after this. Everything is going really nice for Nurtio. I can't believe he defended that. That's actually insane. He has four four queens out in the field. Oh, what man. Can he really the queens do? are catching all the Reapers. Oh, right when they hopped on. He only lost one, though. Reapers regen health here, so... Oh, I thought they did. Did they not regen health anymore? They do. They do. It just takes oh, yeah, a while. there it goes. It just takes a little bit. Okay, there we go. They have to be out of um, combat for... X amount of seconds. I actually don't know the number. I think it's like five. Yeah, that's, that's about right. Yeah, it looks like Nurture's in great ship here. It costs just getting a second really down and uh, getting some workers there, but there's a 17, su uh, 17 supply lead worker-wise, and yeah, Nurture defended that great, man. I like that. I like yes, the two sir. Zerglings in the base there, man. That's huge. That's huge. If you now, a, lot of people, a lot of people would go... Um, Widow Mines or Hellions directly after this, but I love what Kost is doing. He knows he's behind slightly, and he's saying, "Okay, my opponent, because I'm keeping him on three ba or two base for so long, these Reapers are out in the field. My opponent can easily do an all-in against me. I mean, he's kind of relegated to do some sort of pressure in terms mm -hmm. of Roach circlings. He knows Nurtio's style, which is to put on a little aggression at this early mid-game stage. So he says, "Let me get siege tanks. Of all things, you wouldn't think siege tanks, but he gets siege tanks instead." And this is going to keep him really, really safe and really efficient against this incoming attack. Nurtio is going to take his third base in the midst of all of this, but uh, this makes a lot of sense by Koss. I think this is really intelligent. Uh, what what, uh, what difference has, has not having to research Siege made you know, for turns? Gigantic. I mean, yeah, I haven't, really, I, don't, I haven't really heard much people talk about it. I mean, obviously Widow Mines have been much more popular in the early game and stuff. Okay, but uh, we'll talk about it later here. Roaches are kind of coming in here, but the siege tanks, you know, holding strong, got that one bunker to tank a little bit, but should be still right in range, yep, the riches are still in range of that one well-placed tank there at the uh, edge of the mineral line. Yeah, and you yes, safe. Sir. Just kind of, just, uh, kind of aborted that 
that uh you know that roach timing there so but anyways getting back to siege tank yeah talk, talk to us a little bit about just um you know how much of a factor not having to research siege has been uh it's huge just the fact that you can react and defend against all these all-ins mm -hmm. is something that's so nice for Terran. A lot of times it's like, oh man, roaches are coming. I have to just hope that I made enough units to defend against this. <laughs> right. But now it's like, I can make the right unit and it defends against it. So, obviously it's great for Terran. I think it's great for the game, believe it or not, just because it stabilizes the early and mid-game stages so that people can play a little bit longer into it. We don't have all these silly games where it's just, oh, he doesn't have... He doesn't have enough units to right. go on from there. And I feel like, you know, going siege tanks is actually a little bit of a hindrance. It slows your army down, so you are getting the right trades. It's very gas um, costly in gas. So it's not like, you know, Terran gets a super, super advantage, but obviously it is an advantage. Right. I would love Koss in this position because he showed siege tanks already to fake out like he's doing a big push and then take a third base. Uh, Vikings out would have been awesome just to clear out all the, the overlords. Mm -hmm. And then from there, make it look like you're doing a push. Make it look like you're doing a two-base solid. Force your opponent to get a lot of units so that he doesn't concentrate all of his gas in something super worthwhile like Ultras or even Mutas at this point. Uh, instead, he's just going ahead taking his third base. He still denies everything, but I would love him to make it look like it's a push out even though he switched up his, uh, his factory. Okay, it looks like uh, Nurtio is just gonna kind of pressure a little bit with these roaches. Maybe just kind of do some scouting, feel out what's going on here, and uh, I can't see him just sacrificing these just for the sake of uh, seeing if he has a third or anything like that. So, um, all right, so Nurtio taking a fourth now, just again buying time. The more time you know Zerg has to do this, uh, you know, the, just kind of get taking extra bases, getting upgrades, the, the better off it's going to be here. Um, Looks like he's getting getting pathogen glands, getting getting Galileo or how do you pronounce that? Galileo Galileo reconstitution guy. Reconstitution. Road speed, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Looks like the Zerglings are gonna clear out the third and Okay, Koss is gonna be pushing here with Widow Mine tank and uh, some bio. Should be pretty effective yeah. against Roach Ling, actually. Um, yeah, for a little bit, but infestors mm -hmm. are out in the way. Yeah, that's and about to pop this out. is really scary because the amount of gas that that uh, Nurture has in his army isn't really that much, and that's scary because that means whatever tech he's going is going to be really, really powerful. Yeah, right. If you're just spending Zerkling, it's like Wings of Liberty. Yeah. We could rely on only Zerklings, and then net all of our results in infestors, which was just so freaking powerful. Um, so mm -hmm. Nurture. Actually, Koss doing a really good job. doing really deck. well in this in the exchange. He is those scrappy, those man. those bio units still have not died. <laughs> Gone through two rounds yeah. of, of uh, two rounds of of larva now. This is very man, cost effective. I always, man. I always underestimate the power of of Terran and, and Medivax <laughs> and just your ability you to. Uh, how can you how can you underestimate it? <laughs> no, man. I, I always do, and I play all races, Chan Man. Don't I make know, it like that. Okay? Oh, these Zerglings are sitting on top of that but Oh, I know. Oh, darn. <laughs> I was gonna. I thought we might see a bunch of Zerglings explode there. Okay, that kind of so, bought time for for Cost to get his third up yeah. and running here, and uh, he's gonna be pressuring again. But oh no, looks like uh, uh, Nurtio is running back. He doesn't have any energy on his Infestors, so he can't really do too much except for counterattack with the Zerglings here in the third, catching. Yeah. Catching cost pretty defenseless at his third there. He's gonna need to put out Belize the bunker. Yeah, that bunker needs to finish, but perfect timing Again, by Nurture there. Third yep. And man, these widow mines are, are heroes. Look at this one widow mine in the top right hand corner, the bottom one. Huh? Look how many kills he has. Twenty five. Twenty five and three, Sweet man. Jesus Somebody's not carrying his weight. This guy's only got three. <laughs> What's going on, man? Seriously. That that's you, Chan man. I'm the three. <laughs> oh gosh, please. Okay. Please. Oh, oh, oh see, exactly like, he happens. decides to shoot the roach. That's why. That, that's definitely not me, okay? Uh, Except you're 100 kills and I'm only 3. That's the <laughs> amount of time since I've been on Pro Corner, okay? <laughs> super, exactly. super good. Okay, uh, killing so the fourth base is, is nice, but, I mean, Koss is, um... Uh, I hate to say it and I hate to call it, but I think a lot of pros would say it. Koss is pretty much dead, although it is Koss. 
I mean, he comes back into situations where nobody else thinks he can come back. So I'm not going to count him out, but I do feel like he is in um, an unwinnable situation. Ultras are nearly yeah. out. He's still on this bile force, yeah. which is not good. I'd, I'd, I'd agree with that. I mean, he's going to need <laughs> he's going to need like three or four really, really good engagements for him to even be able oh. to take out of this. Oh, and he got yeah, you know dropping is definitely one way, but he's. Obviously, his uh, medifacts are caught here. Gonna lose all these units for free, and I think we're gonna be seeing a GG here in a second. TT. Yeah, I mean, all that has to happen. Kindness plating finishes. Yeah. And uh, maybe, maybe not even that. Nurture is yeah. gonna try to. Yeah, I think to... he could. If he could just lands a few fungals here, I think he could he actually end it right here. Looks like he's landing some big so. fungals here. Yeah, this should be over. Uh, this... That's gonna be it. It's so sick. I can't believe he held out that 888. I don't know Man. how he did that. Like, Nurture's a freaking savant. I swear. <laughs> well, again, guy, you know, it's like, like you know, uh, he did a really good job in the beginning of it, even with that late queen. But those two zerglings, I think, made a huge difference. I mean, it just took attention away from from costs. You know, really microing those those um, those reapers and just distracting him quite a bit. Mm -hmm. All right. Agree. Well. Kosh just refusing, refusing to lose. Gonna hang in there. Gonna need some super marauders here to kill the <laughs> to kill the ultras. But yeah, this yeah. map is uh, it's gonna be rough, man. Yeah, it's gonna be rough. I mean, it, it almost felt like Kosh was just never in the game economically. Um, he gave himself the best possible chance, to, you know, with the siege tanks and. Obviously, pushing out, getting in the very fast third base, but when it comes down to it, he just didn't do enough damage in the beginning phase. Four drones, you can't really say, yeah, I'm content with that. You have to do more than four drones. And even with Nurture's delayed queens, he was able to to fend off against so yeah. much pressure. Yeah, I mean, we, we really should point out thing. should point out too that you know him working down that SUV on the bunker too early on. Um, you know, yeah. it almost killed him, and then just like that one extra drone just went and killed it. I mean, that was huge too. The bunker would have come up, yeah. would have gone up, it would have been hugely successful too. So, it's just those little things, man. It's little things when you're trying to so. hold off, like, you know, these type of strategies are enormous. Well, Nurtio, man. Zerg OP. <laughs> Apparently, man. <laughs> or Nurtio OP. Right Nurtio right OP. Uh, but yeah, Nurtio is up 3 0, playing a best of seven. And uh, Kosh is going to be picking the next map here. Um, what map do you think he's going to pick? Oh, gosh. Um, I would like him to... See, it's weird because Kosh is playing a really weird style in my opinion. He should be getting more... Um, not getting more, but he should be dropping more. Um, and I would have said Whirlwind is a good map for that. No, I know a lot of people think Whirlwind is so zergy just because there's so many expansions, late game is inevitable, but when it comes down to it, there's a lot of positions that you have to creep tumor, and it's very hard to keep up with that. So if you yeah. don't spread your creep, obviously Marines and Marauders are going to be really good. On top of that, dropping is going to be so good. Between the main, natural, and third base that make that triangle format, I would really love him to do that, but I don't know what he's going to do, to be honest. Um, because his his style doesn't really feature something like that. Yeah, that's for sure. He hasn't really been dropping much during these games, so no, not um, at all. It seems like he wants to take on these. Uh, these uh, Neo Planet, Neo Planet okay. S is great. Okay. Yeah, Neo Planet S is great again. But again, you need to. I guess this suits his style a little bit more because he kind of dictates dictates where the pressure is. Mm -hmm. He can go defensive mines at home and then push one direction and just let his mines be cost efficient and never really engage what you're trying to do is just slowly back up off of creep and uh, and, and drop somewhere else I always include something with drop but that's going to be the most efficient way to do it in my opinion okay so let's just set up the game right now just to let you guys know that we are doing a giveaway later on for this uh this cool keyboard, or actually this this keyboard first, uh, to just a random viewer. So just stick around. You know, at the end of the show, we'll be uh, choosing just randomly from you guys. And then uh, for somebody who has a great memory of Pro Corner, we'll probably have some call-ins later, and you know, have you guys kind of tell us your best Pro Corner memory. We'll be giving away this Razor Kraken, which is a very very cool headset. I know a lot of the pros love this this headset. They they say that it you can't hear anything when you have it on, like outside of just you know the game, obviously, but you can't hear any external stuff. 
So awesome headset here. I'll be actually using it pretty soon too. So you'll be seeing me sporting the green green headset soon. Um, but okay, going to be starting Neo Plans this is game four again. Nurtio is up. Acer Nurtio is up three zero against Empire Cost, and we're we're going to be going right now. Okay. All right, man. I want to reverse all kill right now. Go <laughs> cost. Reverse so all sick, kill. Man. That would be so sick. Actually, you know, cost has like a really cool. Uh, what is that? He had a cool little icon uh, there. Yeah. The portrait. Yeah. I gotta look it up. We have to look later. All and right. I love that gold plating. Yeah, the gold plating. The gold is really plating cool. is so beautiful. I need that on EU server, man. I need it. <laughs> Yeah, this map. This map's always cool because there's, you know, there's always those two gold minerals in the in the middle, and you have a lot of this kind of, you know, the guy in the top right hand corner kind of goes around the, the the top left side of the circle there, while the person in the bottom left goes around the bottom right, and they just miss yes. each other, and it's a it's a lot of cool. Yes. Cool uh, base, I guess base trade scenarios that way. <laughs> it's like where's his army? Definitely, oh man. crap! Look the opposite way. Like that happens more often than not. That's why I have a rule whenever I play. Mm -hmm. If I don't have defensive uh, baneling mines in the other direction, I will not push. That's like my rule of thumb for really? now on, okay. on this map. Yeah, because I am so scared <laughs> of going into base trades with Terran, man. Yeah. It's super, super risky just because they can just fly home with a lot of their units yeah. and then sandwich my army. So I get really, really timid they, to do they that. They always have a yeah an inherent advantage just because of that, right? Just not losing all their buildings for one. Correct. Um, so have you? Here's a question for you: Have you ever seen a a zerg take the middle? <laughs> no, now? I have. Yeah, no, me either. The, the middle is off limits for zerg. It's basically uh, how well you can establish your fourth base, and mm -hmm. that's going to be the hardest thing. And then after that, it's your fifth base. I know that sounds really trivial, but what it comes down to, if you can see. Th if you want to take four bases, it's going to be the normal four in the bottom left-hand corner for Zerg. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, the, the fact that you have to defend that top left and then the bottom right and defend against a lot of pushes is really difficult because of the, the single file that you have to kind of defend against. So if yeah. you're being pushed from the top, you want Zerglings all the way in the top left-hand corner so you can get some sort of sa uh, sandwich. And it, same thing for the bottom right. Uh, you want Zerglings going all the way to the bottom right and yeah. sandwiching. Yeah. And that's really hard. That that commits a lot of your units just to sandwich there. And uh, a lot of the times mm. you... <laughs> yeah. You can't defend against all areas. So this is going to be one of the harder harder maps, I think. And it's also going to be a lot of low eco. Low eco builds. So I'm actually expecting costs to be Tekken type super super fast in this or at least switching over to infestors really fast because if you don't have that cost efficiency super fast you're going to be in a lot of trouble yeah so one thing to point out too just with the landscape of this this map is that this chasm that's kind of between the third and the 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 main uh it's usually a pretty big dropping point you know just kind of dropping the third and going back to the to the main yeah. and it's a long ways for the zerg to run all the way over there to defend it so um, yeah, I, I'm expecting to see a lot more drops in this. Um, Definitely. So we'll see. Okay, the Reaper's going to get in there. Going to kill this first drone. Easy. Uh, probably. Oh, may not. Nice move by, by Nurtio there. Everything's looking good. Yeah, everything is looking good. Uh, it's getting some damage on that Reaper that he didn't have to really take there. But again, the Reaper regen, so it's yeah, it's okay. Uh, he might Nothing lose it here. Oh my goodness, that was two health point, two hit points there. <laughs> really, really close. That was calculated, man. Yeah, calculated. Uh, <laughs> no, Nurtio, he has like really good Reaper defense. It's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, uh, I, I don't not know. Gonna get much damage. Okay, that's the first drone die. Is he gonna lose that one? Oh, oh he does lose the Reaper. And that's that hurts quite a bit because there's a. I mean, it kind of sounds trivial again that there's a huge difference between two Reapers and one. So. Um, just the amount of harass that you can do here. By the way, Cost did not scout the bottom left uh, bottom left extractor. You should have seen that there is gasping mined. Mm -hmm. From there, you have to be careful at about six minutes, where Metabolic Boost will finish a lot of times, and Roach All-Ins. And comes. what do we see right now? A Roach All-In. Uh, it is eight Roaches that will be hitting around the seven-minute mark, which is going to be very, very powerful. Uh, luckily for cost, this is what I'm talking about. See what's in the factory? Cost has yep. two widow mines. 
coming up right now. These Widow Mines are instrumental in defending against this all in. Yep. So it's going to be good. He's going to have the bunker. He's going to have kind of semi wall too here. So I, I think he's going to be fine here. We'll see. Uh, yes. Let's we'll see if he can get at least a. He doesn't have. Does he have any bio units? Okay, he has one marine. He has one marine in the in the bunker. But he's going to get the. He's going to get his reaper back too. So he'll probably have. He'll have two widow mines and then uh, you know maybe I don't know what maybe about three units in the the bunker here. We'll see. Maybe. Oh, it's yeah, going to be tight. It's going to be tight. If if he. If he actually, if, if Nurcio micros the roaches properly against the, the Widow Mine, which he is right now, he's going to detonate two of them on one. Yeah, this Beautiful. is going to be rough. This is going to be rough for, for Nurcio. He's, gonna, he's just going to run right by, going to try to break in. Yeah, he doesn't even care. Uh, oh, but two I mines think, coming uh, out. Oh, actually. Oh, it's he's going to be fine. It's not, it's not a wall, oh, though. What's oh, what's going on? No. What happened oh, there? God. Did it go off? I didn't even see it go off. Yeah, it went off. Uh, the the second one went off. Okay, sure. this is where you have to oh be careful gosh. with widow mines because widow mines can actually blow up your SCVs. So, yeah, uh, definitely. It's actually not a bad idea oh for Mercio to run towards a widow mine. Believe it or not. But, this is terrible for cost, man. Yeah, this could super, be it. Super honestly, he like just, he's just losing so much. Yeah, he's down. He's 12 lost twelve SCVs. Already. SCVs. Thirteen. Fourteen. And he's Behind this Nurtio, Nurtio is droning. It's 46 to 17. That is, yeah, it's going to be it's pretty big, rough for him to come back from this. Big difference. <laughs> um, so I, I, I feel uh, there's nothing I can really say that I'm like, oh, Cuff can do this and get back in the game. I really feel like he's just so freaking far behind. Yeah, like, Nurtio's just been on fire today, man. Nurtio taking a third too. Why not? Why not, man? <laughs> he's, he's already saturated both, taking his third. Uh, actually, Kosh should be denying this, at the very least. Setting up Widow Mines. Oh my god, look at this. He's even going to send his overlords in. I'd love him to send his overlords in. Oh, uh, there's one, there's two. He's going to send maybe one Roach. He might get away with one Widow Mine, like not, not knowing about this back, back one out mm -hmm. of the five. Uh, but he's gonna lose that hatchery. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. It's very calm play by Nurtio. Yeah. Taking out the widow mines, making sure that they're just detonating on one single roach, as you were saying, Chandra. Yeah, that's the thing about widow uh, mines. You know, it's like, um, you know, there's a huge difference between the cost efficiency of you know when, when the if, if the zerg micro is well or not right against them. And I think yeah. some people take that for granted. People just assume that widow mines are gonna be like, oh, they're just cheaper versus the tanks and it's like no they're not actually um it's like they can be they have they have higher extremes right yeah like there's a range the range of dp I mean, the range of effectiveness is so so huge for them correct all right so here comes the swarm of units headed towards causes base uh, it's gonna be pretty tough to hold this many roaches we'll see oh, we'll see such a shame um <laughs> I, I think you will be able to hold it but the fact of the matter is he's losing Widow Mines. You want to keep those Widow Mines alive, obviously, as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, just because they they maintain so much map control. Just a ridiculous amount of map control. So it's unfortunate that he hasn't been able to build that Widow Mine count. And he's been constantly just switching his factory off for his barracks, making more, uh, more add-ons for yep. them, just so that he can have a, a much better free-flowing... Um, production, but how it stands right now, Nurtio is just all over the place. He is starting to drop, cost is starting to drop, and thank goodness yeah, he because he really needs, needs to get some plus efficient play done. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think Nurtio might even see it though. No, he's just checking the third. Uh, definitely needs to get, you know, at least get Nurtio back on his side of the map so that he can try to take a third here. Yes. Uh, okay, this is going to be a good so. attack. This should be able to take out that Roach. It's going to take out that Queen easy. Maybe a couple Overlords too. So, uh, should really just take out that hatchery. You really shouldn't be trying for the drones there, I don't think. Um, but... Oh, Hydra. Hydra, wow. Roach Hydra. Alright, let's see this in a while. Exactly. And yeah, you're absolutely right. If he targeted them at hatchery, yeah, he would have mm -hmm. for sure killed it. I think he was just thinking, like, oh, I don't know if I will have enough time to kill that hatchery. And I should just, you know, play it safe go for the things that I know I'm going to kill, which are drones, which are the queens, and the roach. Yeah. But unfortunately for him, he needs to make like these 
you know, if you're coming back into the game, you need to make these big plays. You need to try to put yourself in a position where you can equalize the bases or you're ahead in bases, and then you go from there. Yeah. Yes, it could put you farther behind, but uh, when it comes down to it, you need to make big plays. I mean, that's the only way you come back into the game after oh. such a such a rough start. Pretty fortuitous timing, actually, for cost there, because uh, uh, Nurture just missed the fact that the command center was going to be landing there <laughs> and it went once he checked for the third. And it looks like these... Uh, yeah. Looks like these medevacs might just get by. Yep, they're going to squeak right by the Roachhide army, and uh, it's going to be doing some damage. There is wow, one is... spore there, but um, it shouldn't be able to... Yeah, oh, we should have... Oh, wow, he didn't drop it. Okay, I guess the Hydras would have taken I, it out. So. I agree with backing out there. Yeah. You want to maintain your medevac count. There, yeah. There's there's no point in losing it. So maintain that, and then just always constantly threaten that attack. Um, oh, he but he doesn't want to be trading here. here. Yeah, oh, get out, here, get, out here, get out of here, get out of here. Oh, I got one of them. That's, at this point, yeah, Kosh can't lose any of those fights like that. Oh, he's going to catch the other one, too. Oh, Nurcio just didn't quite see it in time to really uh, attack move on it. So it looks like looks like he's going to be attacking the third here. And uh, if he's got to get those Widow Mines burrowed, that's the only chance he's got here. But he okay, stems. Go ahead and stems there, which is... A little premature stim there, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait a second, dude. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, wow. What is this? Oh, man. Nurtia taking the gold in the middle. Proving me wrong. He must be listening. He must be cheating, dude. That's what, that's what I'm saying, man. He has to be. Uh, this is actually looking really good for Koss. I think Nurtio is playing around a little bit, but yeah. the fact of the matter is, this is what I'm talking about. That bottom middle expansion is under attack right yep, now right. while he's attacking off of creep. Well, he's actually de defending off creep, but still, now he's attacking off of creep and, uh, and just kiting and doing the best possible job of positioning his units. Unfortunately, he might get surrounded. Oh my oh, god. He is going to get... Oh, There's well, those little mines get... Oh, the one, one little mine got down. Oh, but it's not. It already detonated. Oh, this could be. Oh, this is. This I don't is know. This is this is going to be bad for for Koss. Even if it's a, a a pretty equal trade here, I think it's going to be pretty bad for him. But you know, he he did almost kill that bottom middle base, so I guess that's kind of good. <laughs> and maybe the production will be able to uh, clean up everything I, here, but it's going to be really really difficult. I don't think so. I just too many Hydras there. DPS is too yeah, high plus, there. Plus two attacks too, and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is. I mean, if he no landed maybe yet. one widow mine, maybe, but uh, he might just barely. But the damage has already been done. I mean, there's four widow mines. This could. This could. Whoa, no. Well, his third's still up. alive. I mean, but now the gold's up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he might be able to just hold this off barely. Yeah. I mean, we we know he's still super, super, super far behind. It doesn't. Um. It's not going to do that much just because his third is denied. You can see well, Roach Hydra being burned well, in know, his main and his natural. Well, you know, so, Nurtio is still on low econ too. So, I, I you know, Koss actually still might be in this, believe it or not. Um, you know, he's not taking advantage oh. of the, the gold mine either. So, but no, no, here we go. There's this. I was wondering where those Roach Hydras were in his base. And this is, this is going to be too much. I think that damage he did in the main right there was another 15, 15 SCVs dead. Yep, 54 to 23 now. That's not good. There's blinking, uh, blinking red buildings all over the mini map now. <laughs> That's just yeah. not good. Never good. Never good. And third base being cleaned up again. I mean, yep. uh, they're they're always constantly being burrowed, which is so frustrating yep. for for Koss. And at any point, he could just lift up or not lift up, but unburrow and and do the damage again. Yeah. And what he's going to wait for is some sort of trigger. His opponent gets out of the map, or he goes. Chase is up top here, and now the natural is going to be unburrowed pretty soon. Yeah. But no, he sees everything, so of course it's not. Never mind. So this is working swimmingly. <laughs> Zergs don't do that enough, you know. Zergs don't utilize burrow quite enough because even if you don't kill a unit with the burrow, like causing the scan is economic damage. So um, yes. you're always going to do damage by burrowing any any units, even spreading them out in their base, you know. So especially when you use like four four scans. <laughs> Yeah. Four scans are uh, it's definitely not what Koss wants to be doing right now. Actually, I Kill think he's out of scans. Center? He's actually out of. Oh my, you're yeah. right. Yeah, he's actually out so, of scans now too. So um, Koss 
Cost has this one attack, that's it. And yeah, as you said, out of scans, not looking good. The army supplies are pretty similar though, 65 to 80. And who knows, I mean, you can get the most beautiful Widow Mine shots and all of a sudden you're back into this game after one attack. But you, Cost doesn't even know. You're really hedging yourself is. now, aren't you? <laughs> I am, After man. those first games. Widow Mines you. can do anything. Listen to you, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. Two man. base to four base. One's a gold one and an 80 supply lead. <laughs> that is a pretty... Fool me once, <laughs> That is a pretty once, damn okay. hard to overcome. <laughs> it would take a miracle. Uh, yeah, a, a serious miracle. <laughs> yeah, Last stand for cost off. right here. Roach Hydra getting yeah, that's, yeah. a little too much. And uh, Koss, I think, is, you know, he doesn't have any bank or any income, really, to, to replace his army, so... He did take out that third, but... Riding's on the wall, though. It is. GG. GG. And a 4-0 right, sweep for Nurtio. for Nurtio. Wow. Great oh. plan by our Zurich player here, and... Alright, see if we can get them back on. I'm not sure if Koss is going to be wanting to talk... What, what game do you think we should talk about? Uh, probably either the New Kirk or the Daybreak one. New Kirk. Or I Daybreak. think the New Kirk okay. is better. I'll let you choose, man. I let you choose. No, you choose. I'm you okay choose. either. It's the Chan Man V show. Oh, you whatever. It's not the Chan Man V show. I don't like choose. It man. used to be Chan Man V Pro Corner, but not anymore. <laughs> it is the Chan Man. Okay. Forever will be. <laughs> Forever will be. All right, let's get them back on, guys, and then we'll uh, we'll hopefully get a chance to walk. Walk through some of these games with them. Hello again. Hey, Nurse, you. GG. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, you're just you're totally trolling us beforehand. Oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. Yeah, well, I'm not doing very good versus Turn. I think. No, those are good games, man. What you? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Actually, today I played pretty pretty well, especially yeah, with Haras. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Rambais. Your, uh, hey, your second game on Newkirk was good. GG, really good. man. GG. GG. Zarkimba. Zarkimba. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, uh, well, you know, I, I know you're just being nice. You know, since, you won, since you won your show match against White Raw, you know, you're just trying to give, give Nurtia a little bit of you know, love, too, right? Is that, is that what it yeah, was? Yeah, and take all the money. Exactly. And, you know, just trying to share it with your, your fellow, <laughs> fellow eu -er, right? But um, so I figured we'd go through one of the games. You guys okay? Just uh, kind of walking through one of the games with us. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I cool. wanted to host the replay myself, but I forgot we have like yeah, we can watch the replay together. Uh, who's Cougar? Who's Cougar? <laughs> I don't know. Let's kick him. <laughs> <laughs> Cougar. I've already been told to stay away from those. <laughs> So kicked East Sapley. Uh, that's funny. If you guys don't, do you know what a cougar is, Cos? No. <laughs> you want to explain well, what a cougar know, is? But... Do you know what a cougar is, Nurtia? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Okay. What's a cougar, Nurtia? What? Do you know what a cougar is? Yeah. Not like, like, not the, like animal. the animal. Not the animal cougar. Okay. Then. It's it's. <laughs> No, Shaman, you got this. <laughs> oh man, how do I explain a cougar? A cougar is a is it a middle aged woman? Hey, what's the definition of a cougar? I don't even know how you would define it. Uh, hey, maybe I yeah, don't want it's... to. Maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> it's a middle aged woman, normally older, um, like forties around there, that goes for younger there we men, go. like there in we their twenties. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good to know. So you would say they're cougars. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's talk go over about this game. Let's talk about this game. <laughs> uh, so Newkirk, yeah. So, what were your thoughts on, you know, going into this uh, this map? But, well, we'll start with you, Kos. Uh, I know my plan was about to play uh, some sort of uh, early drops, but I know today I'm a bit slow. I'm a bit tired after a lot of games, but. Uh, how my plan was about use this air, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it is very good for drops, for counter drops, and for harass overall. So my whole strategy was to s uh, get a very fast early medivacs and start to drop in. 
but then I saw a roach and a bending nest, so I was thinking this is uh, a huge two bay saline. Mm. So I was very, very passive till the. I didn't uh, see a third hatchery, that was uh, my big mistake. Oh, I see. So, yeah, and I was confused from the start, and then I see a muta, so I understand uh, it is a uh, three base standard play. But uh, it is was too late for draw because Muta on the map, and my turrets was a bit out position because, as I said, I think it is road balancing very big attack on uh, mm. layer which uh, balance speed. So from that moment, uh, everything was wrong from me. Mm, I see. I, I just see. yeah, I read the game from the start very bad. Mm. Well. So yeah, you're saying this marine part. drop right here? Yes. Is yeah, I see a bending so. nest. I see a road. I see a layer. I see. Yeah. So yeah, that that's was. That's why you, you don't want to you don't want to fight this because you think he has a yeah, lot yeah. more units than he does. Yeah. yeah. So I, I was think I'm ahead in economy and overall. So I just need to defend this. But he is starting to drown from this moment, I think. Mm -hmm. And it is was like save bending nest or I don't know what. It's yeah, a so pretty useless bandling nest, I don't know why. Because if you see roads and do evolution, mm -hmm. I don't know. So talk, fire. Yeah, talk to me about, about your your uh, strategy here, Mercio, with uh, you know going so heavy roach. I mean, was was that the plan to pressure at all in the beginning, or just purely just defend? Well, it's more of a mind game, because I usually go roach. Mm. And when he sees Roach, he'll just think, you know, I go the standard link Roach Infester. Mm -hmm. But then Mutas come out and he's not prepared at all. Got it. So it's more of a surprise strategy this game after, you know, the first game, which I didn't use Mutas. And yeah. I, I thought, like, I don't like New York City, so I thought, you know, something gimmicky mm -hmm. will be a good on this map. Yeah. Yeah, so these mutas, I don't know how you're weaving them and everything. <laughs> like, and getting. This, so this one, turrets, what yeah. uh, is not built. I just forgot about that, and oh. because of that, muta just was flying on my whole base. Oh, for I didn't free. realize I wasn't done the whole time. Oh, yeah, you're right. I yeah, thought he was just weaving around it the whole time. <laughs> like, that's one slow right now, SCV, man. Yeah, okay. because right now he killed like four SCV. Uh, mm -hmm. Only because yeah. this one muta, he just continued to uh, get to annoy me. Mm -hmm. So from here, Koss, I mean, I, I know it's unfortunate because you know he has an economic advantage. What were you thinking? Like, how are you trying to get back into this? Because you are the comeback expert. I've seen so many games where you have like less than ten supply and you end up winning the game, and I don't understand what happened. But what's your thought process in getting back into uh, this game? Actually, everything was fine right now. It is just a very good for me. Like a lot of mines, bio, good upgrades. Everything is fine. Uh, I see not a lot of muta, so I think he going to some uh, very fast uh, high technology yeah. like ultra because mm -hmm. ultra is very strong right now. Uh, and uh, I know what soon I need to come out, and I already have like almost 200 supplies so it is will be almost unstoppable push, push right now but this big mistake like whole army for only three muta and just let my third to die by this bundling coach those widow mines are blowing up a lot of stuff though yeah but i lose a lot of economy yeah, for free yeah, that's true. and he can remax so easy and he remarks in which uh, very good army, so mm -hmm. this trade was very good for him. And I am back to 130 supply. So, okay. time to so push shall be right now, but now I don't have army. That was yeah, a very... Yeah. He can really push on the creep, so... Yeah. It yeah, would yeah. be a very slow push and I would be ready for it. Yeah. Gotcha. And, uh, and so Nurture, you know you're way, way ahead right now. You're just looking to go up to Hive Tech and, and end the game there, or you want to do, like, because I know you did another attack right here. Uh, are you just trying to end the game here, or you're just trying to put consistent pressure? What's your thought process going in? Well, I know I have a superior economy, so uh, trading armies, almost, you know, trying to be cost efficient would be, like, really good idea. Mm -hmm. But it's not very easy to do versus, like, defensive mines. 
So I was trying to do some stuff, but it didn't really work that well. So you're content with just going up to Hive Tech and, and trying to trade there? Well, I try to keep pressure still, so he's afraid of me attacking or, you know, keep him down in bases. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, I'm taking him. Yeah. yeah, right now I should just drop, like, three medivac drop for on main. Yeah. But uh, I was too much afraid for main uh, first ultra attack. Like, if you just send three medivac full of unit, and then first ultra coming, and you not have enough units, and uh, he just kill you on rally point because he's uh, he have like uh, 50 links on production and still some ultras on the fight. So I was very afraid to this point mm -hmm. to some yeah, first ultra. Yeah, so this is kind of the oh, oh. Man. <laughs> 25 kills, nice. <laughs> 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 That's me, great one. That's me. That's you right there. Yeah, we were talking about mines. next to it. We were talking about which widow mines we were. I like, just <laughs> going like, I was hoping that he will be going to counter attack my third with yeah. this uh, left side mines, but then I see he don't attack, so I just going to push. Mm -hmm. Right now it just was so bad attack. I should like end game right now. Just split the mines, and that's all. And I was think I'm far ahead after that mine. Game passed. Yeah, and Game this was so bad because all my mines just die by one band link. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, but like it's, yeah. yeah. But one mine well, killed a I, bunch I of band links too. To me, I was like, oh, Nurtrio's max. Uh, he's going to be on, um, you know, sort of, he's going to be on creep. He's going to approach creep. And on top of that, he will have a, a nice surround. Nurtrio, like, what's going on in your mind at that point? Did you? Because, uh, you know, I play Zerg right now. I was thinking you were super far ahead. You are going to mm -hmm. just smash this army, and then it doesn't. Are you scared at this point, or what's going on? Well, uh, right now, I mean, I lost the fight, but I was quite sure that I will lose it. Like, I will explain it more in a moment, but, yeah, I'm not afraid anymore because I know I can keep all my bases alive except the one that died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, I could see he's, like, he was still on three bases, and his SCV con was really low. It means that his army is like is extremely strong, and there is just no way for me to win the fight. But I can I win see. with my economy later on, or just with some run base. Mm, but yeah, I, I was pretty sure I will I will lose that base anyway. I was just yeah. a little bit afraid of him maybe being able to kill another one, but it didn't happen, so it was yeah. good for me. When you have so big army, you just need a lot of medivacs, and I have only like five medivacs. Yeah. I was killed in yeah. like two minutes and still my army was not enough to heal. I see. Yeah, I shall just make a second star port for my devox mm -hmm. and just keep pushing because uh, which mules and so big army I will be just trade good. Yeah, uh, that Ravens so was like uh, a bit for show because uh, I know I was in c I'm really leading at this point. And he just keep throwing ultra one by one every fight. I wasn't think his economy is so so good. Like you see, whole game he's on 100 drones. I wasn't think mm -hmm. it is yeah. so big count. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he just keep getting minerals all the time. And I was think he like 200 and like zero minerals. And last uh, minerals spent to some uh, production, but I was wrong. So I just keep making like ravens for some seeker missile and just mm -hmm. enjoy of, uh, some viewers. But <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. ravens are good too, right? I mean, they're not just no, for viewers, no, no. right? They, they're bad because uh, usually you just hit. Uh, it is good with tanks if you have position. If you just mm -hmm. took some uh, position, you can make seeker missiles and push again. Which bio, it is, uh, it is different story, because one uh, you, you can just make like uh, Nerchow did some friendly fire, which mm -hmm. seeker missile. Oh, I see. And That's it is true. not enough damage for just win a uh, fight uh, if you just hit one ultra risk. Mm -hmm. Nerchow, what are your thoughts on? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kass. Well, it de it depends. Yeah. Uh, I mean. It's questionable in this uh, making ravens in this scenario, 
But I think uh, some is pretty okay because you need a lot, of, a lot more micro from like the Zerg. And you can control the run bys a little bit better, I guess. Because yeah, you know, you need to wait for the like the the mines to I mean Ravens to for sure good. I don't say it is bad, but in this situation if I make like not this ten ravens and twenty medivocs, I just a click and I win a game. Mm -hmm. But Yeah, so. maybe. I mean I was ahead in this game, but uh, as I said before, his army is so strong, I need to be careful, because if I lose one fight really badly, then it's all equal, or even I lose the game immediately. So, I, I, I abuse the immobility of the mines, kind of, because he cannot really like follow my, my army when I have banelings and infestors. So he needs to like hide behind his mines, and that allows me to run by everywhere. Mm, I see. Okay, so you're you're basically saying if you lose control of the map, it's going to be really really hard for you to to win the game, right? So you're always going to be shoving your your army uh, almost in that middle expansion and just attacking from there. Um, is is am I am I right, Nurchio? I mean, like, what are you doing with your army at this point? What what he's are your moved. plans? It looks like he's moving, just moving him around, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm I don't really want to engage like fully because right now I'll get destroyed if I just went in. So I try to yeah, get the best position as possible or maybe try to keep the mine count down, picking one, you know, here and there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or waiting for this opportunity to happen, kind of. This fight was a bit strange for me. Yes, I lost all four mines. Oh, friendly fire just killed me. As you see. Oh, that's true. I didn't see that the first time. Uh, if I did, didn't borrow, I just. Uh, it is will be better for sure. And this. Oh, Bandon wow. hits. Oh, nice. I love how it is this forum. <laughs> Even when I lose it. The explosions are. <laughs> hey, everything, like. It is. Uh, the matchups even more dynamic. And I don't think, like, in TVZ, short term have advantage and uh, uh, very strong. But I think it is like in, in Windows of Liberty, like everyone saying turn is so strong, then just which time after three months they just find their own style and just starting to dominate. As you remember, first months of uh, uh, Windows of Liberty, mm -hmm. turns was crashing everything. So right now it is a bit same story. So we shall just wait some nice adapt for those. Yeah. From Zerks. I think so. I mean, there were a lot of there were a lot of balance issues too in Wings of Liberty. That I mean, much worse I think than the balances right now. Um, yeah. I mean, we don't even have to remind know. you about the Reapers, <laughs> the Reapers and the uh, the eight barrack and Reaper Chairman, builds. <laughs> I found I found nothing wrong with the uh, Blue Flame Hellions either. I think we should oh, go God. back to that. Yeah. Exactly. Two shotting yeah. everything. It didn't matter what you were. <laughs> as long as you bring back the one supply roach. <laughs> yeah. yeah, or roads with two armor. Yeah, two armor yeah. too. Goodness, <laughs> yeah. So there's a, there's a lot more things wrong back then. But uh, okay, so at this yeah. point, um, I mean, you know, one thing I noticed too, Nurshio, is that you never built a greater spire. Like, I don't oh, think yeah. there was there were any plans for you to ever go to brood broodlords at all. I um, don't know. I feel like, uh, yeah, the greater spire transition is pretty risky. Mm -hmm. What do you think about so, just integrating yeah. like even just a few, or you know, I know a lot of people yeah, are, are starting to then use. they're too slow, so. Oh, true. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's a good oh, idea. True. I don't use uh, Brutalords a lot right now. Mm -hmm. I think you should build like uh, five corruptors for just make me afraid, and just it is good versus Medivox. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wanted to do yeah. that, but in the end, I decided not to this game because I didn't have that much gas. Yeah, I mean, your mobility yeah, so. was so important for your army here, so I can kind of see why I didn't want to slow that down with with Broodlords or... I mean, some I people are throwing just slowly some whittling. Some... Like you yeah. see, uh, these mines just keep friendish, uh, friendly fire me. Mm -hmm. It's like, in this yeah. game, just mines kill me more than Nurture every fight. Yeah. Maybe I'm just using it wrong. For Definitely I'm using it wrong. And you just need to split mines, one by mine, one by one, and just 
keep pushing from uh, from the mind to mind, and I just doing like uh, mines behind my army. That's always bad. Oh, so the why first nice shots? Why not transition into a tank then? If uh, I mean, what, what are the differences uh, between you bio can tank because and bio? Uh, it is possibly what he going to board lords and mm -hmm. uh, it uh, at least tank just make you not mobile anymore and it just will yeah. be a bit more okay i don't know he will be just get uh, all his expanse and just swarm me all the time when i just get like five tanks okay see. yeah just look at this fight i mean you're starting red and orange everywhere I mean, yeah yeah i uh, need just the some the box. It is about I was talking. Here comes this, yeah, your secret missiles too. Oh. Yeah, Evan secret missile hit me. Yeah, and Nurtu so had, had a huge bank here too. So, but yeah. I think like Ritorp said earlier, uh, you know, I try to keep in the middle and run do a run base on top and bottom. Mm -hmm. So. If Cass, like, yeah, he, he had a very bad economy later after some run buys. So I think if he, like, made more CCs, not even a CVs, because then his army was much stronger. So just more yeah. CCs for mules. Mm -hmm. And he would keep his army in the middle, then I would have a very tough time winning, because there would be pretty much no more run buys, and his economy for mules would be better while keeping his army still super strong. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, but game will be just boring because we will be just 20 minutes waiting. Yep. <laughs> I like. <laughs> I don't a, like. I don't like goody style. I can use it is only on tournaments or on some show, uh, <laughs> very important games. <laughs> but when I play in show match and I understand what for win game, I need 20 minutes just staying and waiting. Yeah. Oh, I, I can do that. <laughs> Yeah, that's I was cool. just, cool. I was telling Chairman earlier, I was like, okay, Casa's gonna wait until the 30 minute timing, and that's where all the gas is mine out. And then Nurchio will just try attacking, and he won't be able to. Because you have planetary fortresses, tanks, and ravens, battle cruisers. Best army ever, man. It's but like, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love I like what uh, in Hetuzus form you just can use mech, uh, same as Bio, and it is very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. And at wall, it is was impossible to play Mac if uh, Zerk opened which road, because he starting to dominate and control full map, and just keep getting more and more ahead. But right now, with this battle helions and mines, you just feel some some power. I know okay. it's a different story. Cool. Oh, so why don't we why don't we take some questions? You guys okay with that? Taking some questions from the viewers? Yeah. A few. If the yeah. <laughs> if the questions are interesting. <laughs> All right, guys, you heard that. They have to be interesting, or uh, uh, you know, Nurse is not gonna bother with answering them. Gosh. All right, let me just let me see who we got. So go ahead and call me, guys, on uh, on Skype. My Skype ID is Chamman V, and uh, we'll start taking callers. Where are you guys? You guys are usually quick to do it. Uh, if not, if you don't have Skype, you can go ahead and just type out your questions in stream chat. I'll go ahead and read them out. Uh, I got a question for Nurchio. All right. Can I interject? Nurchio, yeah. um, I've been talking to some Zergs in, um, in the C region and the NA region, and they were saying that Swarm hosts have a place in ZVT, especially with uh, how mind-focused everything is. I personally think they don't, but I haven't really tested it at all. Um, what are your thoughts on Swarm Host, both theoretically and maybe practically, if you've tried them at all in CVT? Mm, so, yeah, they are okay for Smack, obviously, and many people are using them, me, me sometimes as well. But since we don't see Mac that often, like mostly, you know, BioMinds, yeah. Mm, so yeah, I agree with you. I think they they're they're not very good, but I heard from Scarlet that Zerks in Korea are trying to use them, or mm, I don't know, you know, trying to just use the some weird composition maybe like investor bailing and just with uh, addition of some swarm hosts to take down the mines. But I I try to imagine this happening. 
and I really can't because <laughs> yeah. you know the locusts, uh, they die so fast to bio and it's not really hard to defend your mines from, from those and you waste a lot of supply making swarm homes that might turn out to be useless but yeah, I, I'm not sure actually. We'll have to see I guess if something from Korean Zergs because I don't think I will be able to come up with anything with swarm hosts versus like biomines. Maybe yeah, I should I just have, build. I kind of have to agree with that. Just build like three swarm hosts, which rally points on different direction for just scout a little bit, time to time. Yeah, but that's not a good use of your supply, though. <laughs> <laughs> right, in gas for, I mean, it's for scouting. Well, the just three swarm hosts. If you're making, like, if your build is uh, in fast hosts, that's fine. Right. Okay, so no, not really callers today, I guess, but there's a lot of stream chat questions, so I'll just start going through them. Um, do you guys watch Pro League? Uh, a little bit, maybe mostly results, though. Okay. Yeah, uh, same. Yeah, somebody's, uh, I think, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm not going to pronounce it. He asks, uh, favorite underrated Pro League player, or underrated in your opinion? Hmm. Well, there's a lot of, so it's yeah. actually... Quite hard to choose, but I mean, more like like there there are only so many pro league players that I think everybody knows about. Um, I think for the most part, there are a lot of folks there that you know. I guess most of the community just aren't super familiar with, right? They're really good, so that's. Do you have a favorite pro league player? Period. Uh, I don't really watch that much of yeah, Korean players. Also, yeah, it's a I weird time for you guys. Right? I yeah. not necessarily. I I'm. I don't know. I don't enjoy watching Koreans that much unless it's a uh, like uh, super famous players that everybody is hyped for to watch. Yeah. But I watch like you know the Acer Axiom Clan Wars to mm -hmm. see what's going on and how Scarlet is doing, or some foreigners that are in Korea, but there's not many. So. Okay. You too, Kos. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me also. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Norcio, do you think bio or mech is hardest to play against? Definitely bio. With mines, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Identity Crisis, can you ask Koss or Norcio why tanks are bad to make now in HOTS? I guess Koss can answer. I don't think they're bad, they're but bad, right? there, there are better yeah, options. They're good, but you're just not so mobile like Bion mm -hmm. Mines. And you. It is still useful because, like Bomber, who doing marine tanks all the time, even right now. That's mm -hmm. good, but you just get punished by uh, late game because uh, of uh, Vipers. You can't uh, be good in middle of the game because because uh, you just spend a lot of uh, gas for upgrades for medivacs, and uh, if you have tanks, you don't have mines, so you just yeah. it is just bad right now. Bec not bad, but most mostly of the strategy is just much better than tanks in build. Okay, uh, okay, we got a caller here. I'm gonna have him call in. It's got a funny, funny uh, icon there. Okay, so you're kind of off the off center on your camera. You can oh. barely see your face on the camera. Oh no no no! Your 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 camera's working. It's just it was off center. Uh oh, maybe he's oh. not. My camera just get off. Let's try. Let's try calling him this guy, uh, Alexander again. Doesn't seem to be working. Hey guys. Oh hey, how's it going? Hello. Can Hello. Can you hear me good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Pro Corner, man. Cool. You got a question? Thanks, dude. Um, so my question is to Nurcho. Did he just drop out? No. No, he's here. Hey, sir. Cool. Uh, okay, so uh, I stumbled. I think I remember a, a thread on Team Liquid about the Widow Mines and some stats from Grandmaster League. And so I wanted to kind of get uh, Nurcho's standpoint or even cause on how do you think they should be like nerfed or some changes to them like what they said in the thread was that when you get over like 10 mines 10 plus mines they really like shift the win rate for Terrans like it just skyrockets 
when they use a lot of mines. Hmm. So, yeah. Well, I can start maybe because later. Um, yeah, yeah, you can start. I think that, yeah, as I said before, like playing versus mines with bio is so much harder. Because, I mean, the games, the game looks more interesting, but it's uh, too early and, uh, right now to say if they are imbalanced or not. Mm -hmm. I think they they decide like they can decide uh, one way or the other on the game, uh, like the the outcome of the game, because sometimes it's pretty random actually. Uh, I mean, there is ways to like you know to make the mines attack your links that are attacking the bio or something like that. But I'm not sure if right. anybody is an expert right now on, on that, you know, topic of microing against the mines. Mm. But you can and see... Yeah, I think that... The, you the can see the borrow mines, so... Yeah, yeah I know. And but I think it is the same story, like, uh, two banlings who can be so cost-efficient. The same story, like, about mines, but... Uh, everyone just using mines like crazy right now. It is mm -hmm. why you see so many cost-efficient mines. But usually, normal games they are not so strong and sometimes even hit your army more than uh, opponent. So you just need to time to get this to adapt to this style. Because at the start of uh, Wink of Liberty and Beta, as you remember, everyone using balance like crazy, but right now mm -hmm. they just mm, passed uh, this type for get some technology units. I think this will be the same story, just guys will be adapt so hardly, but they will be know what they need to do versus mines. And uh, everyone will be just use mines only for some defense or kind of uh, very, very, very late game. Okay. Right now, because as Zerk, you can just detonate mines uh, which uh, infest terrains. As Proto, the same story, you just can't use it versus Proto. So, definitely, there is a way to play versus mines. I mean, well, it's very hard because if you have, like, let's say, late, late, late game, if you have, like, 10 or 15 mines, there's just no way you will kill them all or with infest terrains. And, well, you can take down some, but. Uh, if you know, just there's send like overlords. <laughs> if if no, you well, that's just not the smartest idea, I'm afraid. Uh, you know, I mean, we're talking about mines plus bio. And yeah, I know about it, uh, but what uh, can I do? Uh, they can change nothing because if you change too much yeah. mines, you can get like less HP, just uh, nerf some HP or just some range. But you can uh, do the <laughs> yeah hit points. But um, right now we showed mines. You can deal with ultra so so good. Outside because switch will be also good. Out. I feel like outside of creep, there's not a lot of ways for Zerg to kill the Terran army. If you know if the game is equal. Um, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks yeah. for the question, buddy. Yeah. Sure. Thanks for having me. Yep. All right, uh, I got a question for you guys. What do you guys think of the whole WCS structure with EU? Uh, do, you, do you think you think it's going to affect you? And, and I mean, you, is it going to be much different than last year for you guys, or do you think it'll be pretty similar? For sure, much difference because last year I just didn't pass the qualify. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, big difference for you. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Nurtia? Uh, well, I don't like this mess that is right now mm -hmm. yeah. but well it's not a big problem for me since I know that I'm going to play in Europe and well I don't like the the kind of setup that they have there and I'm not really a big fan of like call this tournament style or whatever you call that mm, well, and I feel yeah I, I mean I don't know so, I just I was just never a fan of that, even though yeah, it might be good. There will be so uh, many, a lot of story when, like, you have one match, you prepare in one week, every uh, of whole community will be talk about that match. This will be like same like TSL. It is interesting for people, even for players, who just wait in not his match but different one. And I know. I think it is will be great. 
And that much yeah, better than just standard tournament. I'm just afraid that I will get out of groups, I mean lose, and then I will have nothing to do in WCS <laughs> for, for, you know, part of the season. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, but there is like uh, online first rounds, then some lands, but you can play like different tournaments while uh, this tournament. Yeah, yeah, I know. You can play Dreamhack and also. I don't know what you're afraid. Yeah, it's it's. There's still some details to come out, you know, as to. I yeah, don't know, there's like, a lot of details. Yeah, to I mean, out. it's like I. I mean, you guys even have some details, <laughs> Andre over there. I think there. So, something but, uh, different. It is always good. It is some fresh. Uh, the, the, I don't know. People just get boring to watch the same and to see the same tournament, same format, same style. Mm -hmm. uh, they just want to get something interesting, and that's good for esports. Tell me thing I didn't like was uh, like there was kind of some kind of schedule and if you win uh, like I don't know some group stage like I don't know code as like first groups you have uh, to go you like to offline and then one week later you have to go to the same place again to oh, play in other matches if you advance so I don't really like that because you know you go you travel there for one day yeah, yeah. so you lose pretty much three days and just a week later you go there again and you yeah, lose two days of travel each time playing one just one day you know in, ju in just like one and a half weeks time. yeah is that a problem but yeah we still need to wait some details maybe they yeah. will try to make something about that okay great. you're going to dreamhack nurture yep okay see you there <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, how about one last question? Let's see, any more callers? Okay, one caller, and this will be it. This will be it for questions, guys. And then we'll start doing giveaways. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, so maybe you guys can help with that. Lech, Lech Oshinski. Let's see. Some Poland guy? Yeah. Must be. Hello? Hey, you hi, there? Hi, can you Can you hear me? Yeah, welcome Pro Corner. Okay, hi. So I'm Klagus from Poland, and uh, I, I I wanted to ask about WCS, but you already talked about it. So maybe I can ask one more question for Nercio. Uh, what do you think about Scarlet choosing Korea as her region for this season? I mean, oh, because I in 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 the uh, she was speaking with Carl Calder and she was thinking about choosing Korea, Korea as as her region. I uh, I'm actually not sure if she if she decided on Korea in the end. Uh, yeah, she I was, think that yeah. uh, after like she wanted to go back to US, I think. But right now there is more information that you can you know the, change the season one thing. The region after the first season or something like that. Yeah. You so can. I think she might stay in Korea for the first season and then change to US. Yeah, yeah. I think she yeah. would uh, she right for sure she would not stay forever yeah. there. Yeah. That was the big thing. I talked to her too. That was the big thing was the, the season yeah. one change. If if there was I think if it was gone she was coming back like now, yep. I think. Yep. And if if but now that that cloak in, you know, that Reddit thread, right? Um that Q and A that announced that it it's kind of in place, the, the season one the season one change. Uh, um I think yeah, she'll probably stay for at least code, you know, do the code A qualifiers this week and and then um yeah, and then probably switch after that. I don't know. I mean, if she does well, then why wouldn't she, right? Um Yeah, but let's be real here. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Korea is so so hard. Oh, it is. It is. It's just yeah, it's it's, it's hard. To, yeah, it is hard. And I think most everybody, even Major, I think is probably coming back. Um I mean, has has maybe said that he's coming back, so um I don't know, it'll be interesting because, you know, what, what, one of the things that hasn't been announced yet, yet is really the non-WCS MLGs, you know, and, and IMs and stuff like that. I mean, that plays a big factor, whether the foreigners will stay in Korea or not. Because if you stay in Korea and you don't qualify for Code A or Code S, you're just screwed. I mean, all you yep. can play is Team yeah. League. That's it. You know, and um, I think that's, that's kind of how I interpret everything so far. Um, so that's a huge, huge decision. And again, what do what do you think about Koreans uh, going to U U.S. or something like that? Yeah, I'm afraid of them 
that too many will come actually. Uh, I yeah, think you know the Ministry it's of far, Wind. far more easy for them, you know, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's not so far. So. Especially in the I mean, US, there will be a lot of the Koreans. What kept but what kept the yeah. Koreans there in GSL? Like what kept them in Korea? It was, I would say, the language is part of it, but also the money, right? Like GSL funds the most money out of any or consistent money, I should say, out of any other league. In the world, I mean, yes, you're, you have your dream hacks and stuff like that. You have your IPL, MLG, but those aren't consistent. And when you have something like that, some sort of foundation, it's going to be really easy. So all they have to do is get like a, a team house going. And then now that they have this big amount of money from the, the WCS that's going to be in North America, $1.6 million in prizes, if you get $100,000 of that, which is very possible, for, let's say LGIM, yeah, it's definitely worth it to relocate. I think that's like super inevitable. I don't see a reason why they wouldn't. I think it sucks, <laughs> but yeah, I think I think Andre's right. I think um, I just hope you know all the places uh, that they won't be taken by Koreans. But uh, I think U.S. should be more afraid than EU of yeah. like the Korean swarm. Yes. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, and I mean, you already there are already some. Um, you know, U.S.-based teams that have Koreans on them, like, for instance, EG, right? I mean, if EG still has Jadong, you know, this entire year or whatever, I mean, why wouldn't they bring them over, you know, why wouldn't they possibly bring them here, right? Um, and, because it's just about, for a, lot, for a lot of teams, it's just about branding and stuff, right? So if you have you have more players winning tournaments, I mean, it's just more branding for them. Um, obviously, winning the Korean one is, is more prestigious, but it doesn't matter. You still get, you still get a lot, a lot of, uh, um, you know, just a lot of value of just having your players win these these, you know, these events. Not 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 just prize money. So, yeah, that's going to be so. I, I think I think Blizzard just uh, you know thinks that I, I don't think Blizzard is anticipating that. You know, Andre, like I don't think they're necessarily anticipating these 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 Korean teams making investments in NA and EU to bring their players you know over here. Maybe their lower end players over here. And I think you're right. I think why wouldn't they do it? You know. Um, yeah. So in the end, a lot of Koreans are complaining because of the, just the craziness going on right now. But I think in the end, it, you know, I think the foreigners will be the ones complaining. But oh, we'll yeah. see. Yeah. Oh, I just read some news. What Blizzard just buy it? IGN I, IPL. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's we're true. gonna wow. we're gonna have we're gonna have Kevin Naki and David Ting on climbing the ladder soon. Just letting you guys know. Big. Can I be on that episode too? <laughs> yeah, we just need to no, get. No, I'll just be just listening. I just want to listen. I don't know why. <laughs> it's yeah, like it's some so. secret thing. No, that's gonna be sick. Yeah, it should be awesome. But um, yeah, so that's really great news for IPL guys. They've they've apparently known for a while now. They just have they just kind of had to take all the crap they got from from uh, IPL six and and just really so hold their tongue. This the year time. will be so great. So many news. Mhm. Mm yeah, Blizzard just kind of getting. In. Doing a lot of stuff, so it'd be really cool. Yep. But it won't be that great for uh, Zergs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hard to swarm. How can it not be great for Zergs, man? <laughs> um, but do you see how kind I am? I give you the last year of money. <laughs> the last of your money, nice, nice. Yeah, and then I will go and play campaign forever. <laughs> Because that's the only place where I, I'm going Various to win. Problem. Oh gosh. <laughs> just switch a race, Nacho. Switch a race? Don't do that, man. But all right, uh, thanks for your question, bud. Okay, thanks. All right. Okay, guys, let's thanks, you know, that's gonna be it for Q and A for uh our episode. And I think what we're gonna do now is um you know, we'll probably do the random giveaway for the keyboard. And uh, and then after that, I haven't really been seeing anybody uh, messaging about <laughs> about their favorite episode of Pro Corner. So why don't people start messaging their favorite episode of Pro Corner? And I'll probably pick I'll probably pick the winner there. Uh, but right now we're gonna do a random drawing here. We're gonna um, let's see how's this giveaway? How's this set up here? Uh, let me. Well, I always forget. I have to pull up Chrome to do this uh, to do the the dice roll. Have you ever done the dice roll before? Oh shoot. Have you guys ever used the dice roll uh, ability in Twitch? No. Oh, that's pretty cool. No. Yeah, there is, is one like that. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a plugin that uh, you can use. Let me find it. Fine. Let me uh, let me bring up my channel here, guys. And 
Okay, let's see. Like yeah, oh, I can hear myself. That's not good. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Have all these tabs open, like in uh... <laughs> That's not Okay, there we go. Alright. Okay, so uh, what else? So what I'm gonna do is just everybody that's in in the the stream channel right now that's following me. You have to be following me. That's that's one requirement. Um, you're just gonna be in this random you know random drawing that I'm about to do here, and you're gonna get to see the dice roll. And the dice roll is basically between everybody you know in chat right now. So let me go to my dashboard real quick, and. Yeah, this is a plugin that's only for uh, Google Chrome. Here we go. Yeah, and do I have a? Do I have a? Okay, let me just screen region this real quick. I didn't set this up earlier. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is the dice roll, guys. Or this is the. Uh, yeah, you'll see the dice roll. And you'll see who wins here. So, the, so we're gonna be doing it. And so, 113 people. I'll give you a few more seconds to do it, and then. Um, Let's see, and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pick it. But uh, in the meantime, go ahead and message me on Skype. Message me your favorite Pro Corner uh, memory and, uh, you know, or your favorite Pro Corner episode. How about that? Favorite, favorite Pro Corner episode. And then the person, you know, I think that has the coolest one will, will win the, the Kraken. But, okay, here we go, guys. On three, two, one. Oh, you're not following, Real Spikes. You got to be following, dude. Right, we're going to have to be doing it again. So I'm gonna give you a chance to follow, guys. Everybody has to follow right now. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks to be chosen, not not be following me. But I kind of stipulated it. Here we go again. Three, two, one, go. What? It didn't Come do it again. On. Oh, 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 oh! I gotta do it again. Hold on. Oh, that didn't work. Hold on. Okay, I'll do it again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, Doctor One Seventy. You are the winner of this, uh, where is it? Shoot. <laughs> You're the winner of this Black Widow keyboard. Congratulations. Uh, so what we are going to need to do is you're going to need to message me on Twitch, and I will get your address and all that good stuff and be sending you that keyboard. So congratulations, buddy. And then now for the best Pro Corner episode. So how many, how many episodes have you guys been on? Do you remember? I Here's think you. I was like on two, okay, uh, two. including this one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I've only had you. I think you were on with um, who were you on with last time? Uh, Paranoid, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's fun. What about you, Cos? I was like one, or uh, if not I compare this one, times. I think one more or two more. Yeah, I don't remember I so. for sure. Yeah, you've been on more than him for sure. Yep, yep. My European yeah, buddies. Yeah, I think this man. is third Your, one. European buddies here. Okay, so I'm trying to see best pro corner. I might have to do this. I might have to do this offline because I don't want to keep you on here. I just guys just have to read these things. But here's one best pro corner episode is when Andre was told about the overseer hard countering the widow. Man, that was like last episode, guys. <laughs> Wasn't that? I mean, <laughs> that was a good moment though. I have to give you that. But uh, but yeah. So anyways, hundred episodes. Maybe we'll do this offline. I'll figure out just. Whoever tweets me the best, um, you know, just kind of the, your favorite episode and why, and then I'll just kind of uh, select a, a winner from that um, by the end of the day. How about that? And, uh, you know, I'll let you guys know on Twitch and all that good stuff. But at this time, you know, I just wanted to thank Nurcio and Koss for, uh, you know, for coming on, being the guest for this, you know, number 100. And, uh, you know, I'm huge fans. Of, like I said, I mean, you guys too are my favorite players, so... I uh, hopefully I'll get to see you guys more. Nurse, I hope you're just under talking all this talk about Zerg and, and the the WCS. I want to see you beating Koreans, man. So <laughs> uh, I'll try my best. <laughs> very cool, very cool. But uh, you guys want to do shout outs at this time? Gosh, uh, you go I first? guess. Or yeah, Nurcio, I Nurcio. started to stream a little bit more, so you can tune in whenever I yeah, stream. I do a commentary pretty often too. What's your stream? Uh, that's it, I guess. I, I have a Twitter, but no need to shout out. I don't like to promote myself too much. Oh my god. Is this Acer rep watching this, dude? <laughs> Here, I'm going to promote him. Twitter.com slash Acer Nurcio. It's Acer Nurcio, right? Yeah, but I promote my stream, man. That's good, I guess. <laughs> so, twitch.tv slash. Is it just Nurcio? Acer Nurture. Acer Nurture. Yeah, switch, Twitch.tv slash Acer Nurture, guys. 
Even oh. Cass knows my Twitter. That means I'm doing quite a good job. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> there was a long time I, that that I Richard didn't even you. have a Twitter. Okay, <laughs> last last time you were on the show, you didn't have a Twitter, so I remember that. <laughs> but yeah, go check him out. Great, obviously, great Zerg play, and I, I uh, you know, I definitely watch him. He commentates quite a bit, so pretty cool. Oh, Cass, you wanna do some thank yous, shoutouts? Yeah, same story about me. I just uh, will stream a bit more. So, but every news about me, my stream, and my tournaments you will be see on my Twitter. I will be message about everything. So, mm -hmm. just tune on my Twitter Empire sla down slash cos. So it's uh, twitter.com slash Empire underscore cos. What about your Twitch? Your, your Twitch uh, TV. Twitch. It's uh, Twitch.tv uh, slash. Empire no, no. underscore cos? Or? There is difference. There is Empire TV cos. Okay, Empire TV cos? Yep. Okay, so I Empire just messaged that on team chat. Okay, yep, cool. yep. All right, awesome. Yeah, we got two. Okay. Oh, yeah, there was a question I forgot uh, that this guy asked cos. Uh, what's more OP, Zerg or Orc? <laughs> Zerg or what? Orc. Orc, like in, in Warcraft. Yeah, there's uh, just Orc, it is a race, but there was a hero. <laughs> <laughs> right. There was a Blade Master who was totally OP. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's definitely true. Uh, great tour. Shout outs. <coughs> um, you know, just watch me at NASL. I'm doing some <laughs> newbie things, basically coaching Lauren Elise for free. You guys can check that out. Yeah, it's good stuff, man. Uh, Definitely I'm usually stuff. playing. Maybe I stream. If I'm not streaming, I'm actually tuning into like Nurtio stream to <laughs> learn more about Zerg. So you can watch Nurtio stream and talk to me in chat. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for having me again, Chris. Of course, of course, man. Uh, for me, just a huge shout out to um, you know my mods and the, that kind of group of people. You know, group of guys that I that have been. Hanging out with me and really, you know, being that kind of trusted group that I throw throw ideas and stuff off of. You know, they've been doing it since the beginning. Like these are some of the guys that were watching me before, you know, I even started the shows and and then when I started. So huge thanks to those guys. Um, big thanks to the guys that have done graphics for me in the past. Daniel, who you'll see in the 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 uh, credits, and Hanzo in the credits again soon here, and then uh, even Seraphim Messi, who did like the first versions of Pro Corner for me. Um, you know, uh, just the even the logo and stuff too. So, you know, big thanks to those guys, you know, doing it for free and everything. That's just awesome. And then, um, yeah, just thanks to all the players, you know, all you, all you guys, man, for coming on my show because, you know, I know my show is not stay the game or anything like that. So, you know, I really, really appreciate you guys coming on and, and you know, helping, you know, community projects like mine. So, uh, you know, big, big heart, you know, big, big love for you guys. And then the viewers, you know, all you guys have been watching, you know, I'm going to continue doing this. So I'm not going anywhere. So I'm not trying to make this sound like a, a sayonara or anything like that. So be lots more with me and Andre to, to come, and, uh, you know, we'll see see you lots more. But, again, I'm going to be doing the – just, again, tweet me. Tweet me your, your favorite Pro Corner memories, and I'll pick a winner and announce it uh, on Twitter probably or maybe, you know, one of the other shows this week. I'll, I'll definitely announce. And then I'll get you that headset. But that's going to be it today for Pro Corner. So for Chain Man V, Great Torp, Nurtio, and Cos, we will see you next time. Yep, see you, thank right. you. I got see these. you. They got these credits. Look at these credits, baby. I need to give one more shout out. Last shout out, guys. Last shout out. I forgot. Big shout out to Razor for sponsoring the show. And I kind of almost forgot. I'm so so not used to having to give a shout out to sponsors. But Razor, yeah. Big love to Razor and Blizzard for helping out the show, you know, like in the last 100 episodes. And again, you know, more to come. You know, Blizzard's, I mean, Razor's the reason why I do all these giveaways with you guys. And, you know, they've been supporting the show and trying to help us out with, with everything. So, uh, you know, big, big thanks to them. They're a great sponsor. But. Okay, that's going to be it, guys. We'll see you guys next time. I just want to get that in there because I almost forgot. <laughs> see ya.